Hi there. Sorry about that. She caught my phone ring. Um, hold on. I'm just trying to get my phone opened up and get it off whatever it was on. Hi there. Good to be back. I haven't been on for a few nights because. Well, well, I was out Thursday and I didn't get back till late. Then I had Friday and Saturday with my grandson. And then today he went back home. And while I was there, he was saying about he's got a, another loose, loose tooth, right? And I thought, oh my God, he's got to take a day or so before that comes out. I just get a message off my daughter in law saying, Alice is going to last another tooth. So. What is going on? Right. Oh dear. So, how's everyone been? Hope you've all had a nice few days and a nice weekend. I'm looking forward to next weekend. Because then I'll be down visiting my daughter and my grandson. It's his birthday tomorrow, so they're having a little party thing for his, him and his friends, I believe, next weekend, I believe. I'm not sure. Nothing's been set, set in stone yet. So, we'll see. But I'm going down next weekend. Oh, God, my daughter has just messaged me. He thinks he... <laughs> Oh my god. Right, my grandson he's got a habit when he loses a tooth. <laughs> he always seems to lose a tooth as he's eating. And this tooth has apparently come out at tea time as he couldn't find it. <laughs> so he keeps eat he, he when he eats food, the tooth comes out and then he swallows and then he doesn't realise it until after. <laughs> oh dear. Still only a couple of quid or five and it, five pounds nowadays you're having to put under the pillow for the tooth fairy. I said, does the tooth fairy not know about um what is it, uh the cost of inflation, you know what I mean? It's ridiculous. Not cost of inflation. Um, oh, God, I can't think what, what we call it, what we say it is. The cost of living. Didn't the two fairy know about the cost of living? I've done two fairy prices. They've gone up. I think, I, I think when I lost the tooth, it was like something like, what, 50p? And that was a lot of money to us. <laughs> 50p, you could get a, a whole load of sweets for for the whole week. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, anyway. He's got a guy to... It, he's got a trip to my as well with the school. And on Tuesday, my granddaughter's got a day out, a school trip. And then Wednesday and Thursday, I'm busy. I'll be on. I'll be online. I come on in the night time, but I'm busy in the day. And on Friday, I'm down. I'm, I'm travelling down to my daughter's. Coming back Monday. So, as I am, my title suggests, well, now looking at Stephen Stearns again. And Jen Soto will review the body cam. Right, but we're also going to be looking at um, the first interview, both Jen and that piece of vile piece of... Someone told me this the other day. They said, sweet honey iced tea. And I'm like, oh, well, I never, heard, never thought of saying that. I said, but I can't use that version. I said, what? Because none of that applies to the sweet, the honey, 
the ice and the tea does not apply to any of my little SHITs that I talk about. You know what I mean? So we're going to be talking, looking at both that, and we're also going to be looking at the audio of the first um, interview they did with him, where he was at the house, at the apartment or house, and um, he was telling them about his day, how his day started from when he met, when they left the home, to drive him to the school, and all of that. So we're going to really look at that again. And some I heard in it today, I I probably heard it before, but it didn't register. But something I heard today which made me think, because it's explaining to the police officers where he dropped her off. And they said, and she walked that way, all the way. And said, yeah. And I thought, hold on, it's not that far. I remember saying the first time we listened to it, I thought, it's not that far from the church to the school. You know what I mean? I walk further when I go to my shops. When I go to the shops. So, I don't, I'm not sure if he did drop her off at the school. Well, from what I keep making out, from how it sounds, he didn't drop her off at the church. He dropped her off a little bit down the road from the church. But then in another statement, he's saying how he dropped her off at the church. So listen to both of it. Listen to his interview, when his interview comes on. And listen to that police audio of that first time they speak to him, just to get, I just want to get his statement in order. You know what I mean? Is Right. And what a palaver has been going on over the weekend with Sebastian Rogers. Seth Rogers has handed out six, six ceased, ceased and deceased letters. And they're mainly going to the people who are like, like apparently one YouTuber actually told him he earned 20,000, right, that week or that month, month I'd say, that month, just by having, going live and talking about Sebastian. $20,000. Wow. Wow. If I earn that much in a month, I'll give up YouTube. <laughs> anyway, so, and his father thought, that isn't right, you know what I mean? How can you sit there and boast that you just made all this money off my son? Right? And he's, he's uh, sending them to people who have, like, blackened his name. Which I don't blame him. That's his career on the line, by blackening his name, and that's his career on his line. But anyway, we're going to talk about that tomorrow night. Monday night is Sebastian Rogers night. And I said I'll keep Monday night and Friday night, but I'll have to do a video for Friday. So it'll just be a video going out on Friday because I won't be here. I won't be here. Right, I'll be online, but I won't be on my laptop, and I won't be going live. So, you might see me in some chats, you might not, you may not. Because a lot of them I don't go in no, no more, I can't, it's just too much. So, anyway, back to tonight, we're looking at that final piece of S-H-I-T. And the mother, is she complicit to this? Does she know? Did she know what was going on? Right? I've got my suspicions. My opinions. Right? And I suppose everyone else would have their own opinions. Which you talk to. And as I say, she has not been charged with anything. 
because they had got to prove that she knew what was going on. If they had proof that she knew what was going on, then she'd get charged. But until they can prove that she, she had any knowledge, she, they will not charge her. So, let's have a look. Uh, going to my YouTube account. Come on, come on, come on. Right, um, we're going to look at the first interviews they did first, right? And then we'll look at the, um, oh God, where is it? The police, yeah, I've got it. the police interview outside the house when they was talking to him, or wherever he was when they was talking to him. And then we're going to look at the transport, from when they transported him from one jail to another. And then we're going to look at the body foot cam. Now, there's a, a bit of a about this body cam, because there's clips missing, because there's one officer, there's two officers in that office. But there's only one video cam. Now, there's three reasons they haven't put his video cam out there. That police officer's cam out there. Perhaps he didn't have his camera on. Right? Perhaps, uh, what was the other one? He didn't have the camera on. Um, they need whatever it is on that cam, cam, video cam, body cam of his, they are using as, as evidence. And what is the... Oh, there's another one. I can't think what we're looking at. Hold on. Um, or they just... That's it. Or they just forgot to put it in the files to be released. Which I think is bad. If that is the case, that is bad because some people have paid a lot of money for these, this body, for, body cam footage. And not to get all of it. But I can understand if the police officer didn't have his body camera on. Right? Or if they're needing it for evidence. Then fair enough. But nothing was said about, oh, but someone has put in a, a request for that body cam. Right? So hopefully we might get something from that. We might not. But we'll see. Anyway, let's go to this one first. This is, who's this one doing it? WFTV, channel not Hold on. Okay, so let's put it up on the screen. Just make sure I haven't got it speeded up normal yet. I'll put, a, I'll put the captions on in case people can't quite hear what they're saying, okay? Of course, is it like going to have your first, your last name and spell them both down for me? Okay. Jennifer Soto, J E N N I F E R S O T O. Mother. Mother. Jennifer. Tell me how you put it right now. I feel like I can't breathe. All I keep thinking about is where is she? Is she safe? Is she okay? But we're we're all a wreck. My entire family is a mess. We're just so worried. When did you first realize or when did you file a missing report? We filed a missing report. Uh, we called the police at like 4.45 uh, yesterday, uh, 4.45 p.m. But she actually went missing early that morning, around between 8.45 and 9 o'clock in the morning she went missing. Um, we had dropped her off close to the school. 
Um, she wanted to walk the rest of the way. That's the uh, dog food machine calling the dog. We dropped her off at school, close to school. Um, she wanted to walk the rest of the way. Um, I'm not sure what I'm allowed to share. You share whatever you. Yeah, this got me. I can only understand and not un really being able to understand what she can share because of the law enforcement saying. Telling them, look, don't say anything to this or that, you know what I mean? But is it also because Stephen Stearns has said, look, don't tell them this and don't tell them that? So I think she's a bit confused on both sides. I feel comfortable sharing. I know you had conversations with detectives. Um, not sure what that conversation <clears throat> is, but whatever you feel comfortable sharing, that we we'll put the awareness out there. Yeah, she was uh, spotted walking uh, by the church, by the middle school uh, on the cameras. They saw her hang out in the parking lot for a little bit and then get up and leave. They didn't see a vehicle or anything else. They just saw her walk away uh, around 9 a.m. heading towards the school, but she never made it. Um, yeah. What has the school said? Have you been in contact with the school? Yes um that they're doing everything they can they've given me all their resources the principals called me they've looked at their cameras cameras um i don't think they've caught anything on the cameras is too far away from the sidewalk everything is too grainy so they can't see specific faces um but they've looked um i'm just waiting to hear anything else from them is this since she just said the cameras are too far away from the sidewalk. So, does that mean she wasn't in the church ground? She was walking past the church, apparently. So that's probably right what Stephen Stern said, that he dropped her off a little down from the church. But he said in this interview that he dropped her at the church. So... You're having your own normal behavior? Not at all. To just not show up or call or text or anything? Not at all, no. Um, she, from time to time, she will leave her cell phone at home accidentally, and that's actually what happened yesterday. She left her phone at home. She went to school. <sighs> um, but that happens from time to time. She's got ADHD, uh, her memory. <laughs> She's very forgetful. Um, so, yeah, there's no way to track her right now because I have, well, the detectives now have her phone. Uh, but this isn't normal behavior, no. What was the last thing, I guess, that the conversation that you two had, you and your daughter? Um, we spoke about her birthday party. She had a birthday party on Sunday. Uh, she had a great time. Uh, I couldn't make it because I was working. But she had an amazing time. She was so happy with all her gifts. Uh, I, I told her good night and um, yeah. Right. Now, my question was, there's rumor that Stephen Stearns was at this party. But then other people are saying he wasn't there. So who brought her home? Was it a grand? Did you get a grand bring her home? Or did Stephen Stearns go and he brought her home? Oh, that was it. I, I I wasn't the one who took her to school in the morning. That was my partner. Um, yeah. 13? She's 13 years old, yes. 13, Madeline? Madeline. Madeline. Um, what are you thinking right now?
in my heart, I feel like somebody took her. This isn't like her to just pick up and run away um, or just not go to school. Um, I don't know, I don't know what you think. Friends, the friend's parents, you've contacted and Everyone. went through every single person? Everyone that we know that she knows, we've contacted them all, reached out to them. The parents have gone out to search and look for her as well. And we haven't come up with anything yet. I've seen a lot of posts on uh, Facebook, um, Hunter's Creek, rants and raves and what have you. Did people um, say that they were going to conduct some type of like search party or anything? Uh, a lot of people have asked me to volunteer, like if, if there is one, if, the, if they can do one. Um, there, I have people passing out flyers, going to every store in that vicinity, a gas station, church. Um, I think people, people were being stopped in the street this morning in front of the school to see if they've seen anything, if they've heard anything. My family is, they're going all out right now. Um, yeah. I, I know think. as a mother, you know, a lot is going on in your brain um, so much to bring her back home. What have, what have the, the law enforcement told you that you are able to share? I mean, that they're doing the best they can. Uh, they've had detectives come out, interview us. They took a piece of her clothing for the canine dog to see if they can stick her out. I'm not sure when that's being done. Um, Do you have any inkling where she possibly could be? Like if you would say, okay, last time um, I went to work and came back, she was at Jane's house or, or, or Sabrina's house. Um, Maybe I forgot to check that house, or she played at this park one weekend. Maybe she went back there or something like that. We've looked everywhere we could have thought, and anywhere she would have been. Um, she would have known to wait for me at the school. Um, but we did check where if she could have walked um, my mom's office. She knows to have waited for you at school. So why did you say? in one interview that you done that when you went to pick her up from school she wasn't there right so you went to your mother's office place of work because sometimes she has been known to go there or something like that and she wasn't there so then you come back to the school you phone the school and they told you she hadn't been there all day. So what is it? She waits for you or she does occasionally walk to your mother's? This is close to the school. We checked there. We checked the walking paths that she could have taken. We've checked all of her friend's house. I think we've checked everywhere I could think of, honestly. What do you think? Um, oh, gosh, I just had it tip my tongue. What was she wearing? She was last seen wearing a green hoodie, black shorts, white Crocs, a black Jan Sport backpack with gray hibiscus flowers on it. I used it. This is not like her. Not at all. To run away, an argument, anything like that to provoke her? She's never done anything like this, no. And we haven't had any arguments recently to have this outcome. What school? Hunter's Creek Middle School. Tom, any questions? No. Is there anything that you think our viewers would need to know about the way you're feeling, the way the family's feeling, Madeline? We are desperate for any answers, anything that you could do to help. I'm here for it. Just please, if, if you see my daughter, just please bring her home. 
I just hope you're okay, Maddie. I hope you're safe. I hope you're not hurt. Sure. I just hope she's okay. When um, when did you notice that she was missing? Because this was at the beginning of the, the morning. Um, she got dropped off in the morning. We did not notice until after school pickup at four, at four o'clock when I went to go pick her up and she wasn't at school. So we're going in 24 hours now. Yeah. Just about. Yeah. Nothing. Nothing. No word. No text message. No messages anywhere from her. I've looked at all her social medias. I've looked at all her games she could have played with. Any any app. No weird conversations. No. Nothing strange. Everything was conversations with just normal friends or us. Did she knows how to get home by herself, as if like let's just say take a, to take a bus or an Uber or something like that. She would know how to get home alone, correct? I'm not sure. I don't know if she would know how to get home. Maybe I mean, if someone, I'm thinking if someone got in the car with her and and if she pointed the way what roads she probably could figure out how to get. But like, does she know? A full address. I don't think. She, I don't think she does. Which would give me the. Which I mean, it just puts in my brain that she always comes home with with someone. She always comes home so with there's me. There's no need for her to really exactly. learn. Okay. And you said no time. He knows everything. Oh. All right. The first question is that I need your first of and last name. S H I T. Stephen Stearns. S T E P H A N S T E R N S. Or so, Stephen, you seem very emotional right now. Explain to us. I dropped her off. Everything looked fine when I drove away. It's the last time we saw her. What were the conversations that y'all had in the car when you dropped her off? Not much. She was asleep for most of the way. Not much. She was dead. I told her have a good day at school when she got out. And I love her. She said, thanks. Love you, too. What was it? And so where, where, where do you think she could possibly be? I mean, this isn't, as I was told, this isn't normal behavior. It is not normal behavior. She's not the type that would just run off. We don't know where she could be. We're scared. We just want her home. Are you, in a sense, blaming yourself? It's hard not to. Why? I dropped her off early. I could have waited longer. She looked okay. She was walking towards the school when I saw her. It was like any other day, so I went on with my day. It's hard not to blame myself. What has the conversation been with Jen since? <sighs> She's been very a lot stronger than me. She's been holding it together really well. And, uh, but it just keeps coming in waves. This reality keeps hitting. We don't know where she is. We don't know if she's safe. We're just scared. We just want her home. Have you, like, literally put boots on the ground, went out? Yeah, I even went out with the cops uh, where I had dropped her off. And we looked all up and down the road, all along the communities, and there was nothing helpful. None of the cameras were pointing the street. Nothing which in 2024 was surprising. The church across the street had some cameras and they mentioned seeing her waiting around in the parking lot for a while before moving on. And that was it. But it was grainy. It was grainy footage and not much, not much else. Does it seem like she walked west, east? Uh, they said in the direction of the school. I'm not sure what that is. What was the language, not language verbally, language, body language, when you dropped her off? Did she seem happy? Was happy. she like, I'm going to meet she my friends? Happy. She got a happy weekend. She just turned 13. She had a 13th birthday party. She was happy that we were all together here. And she's just very happy. She was a happy kid. She's very sweet. She's a very sweet girl. She brings a lot of joy to us. And we just, just not knowing. So the unknown is killing you. 
Yeah, it's like our whole world is upside down. I'm not feeling her presence here is. Sorry. It's hard. I know you're fine. Don't you need to apologize. Um, what do you want our viewers to know when they see some when they see this? She's a sweetheart. She's a very sweet, kind girl. Just please be nice to her. Bring her home if you find her. Tell her that we love her. <coughs> Wherever she is, I hope she's okay. <coughs> I mean, if someone were to come in contact with her and you gave me her, her diagnosis, would it be easy to approach her without any, like, agitation or anything? Yeah. Yeah. She's, she's a good kid. She's a good kid. If you can sum up in one complete sentence, waking up, getting ready to drop her off at school, dropping her off at school, to now speaking to me after talking to the police about her being missing for over 24 hours right now. And what complete sense of what would that be? A living nightmare. It's a living nightmare. Day started off like any other. And I just want to wake up. You just get hit with waves of the reality as it's setting in. As soon as it got dark last night, we really, we started falling apart. We knew it wasn't going to come to an end. And now we're going on 24 hours and still nothing. It's conflicting reports here and there. People say they see this or that. None of it's conclusive and none of it's helpful. We just want a baby girl back. Tom, any questions? No, I'm good. Thank you. Oh, it's just a little pug, pug me. Oh. Now, that was the first... Well, they did do another interview. Because remember he sat behind her on a stool, like a breakfast bar stool, cracking his fingers, like to say, I'm here, I can hear what you're saying, sort of thing. And... So they did do that interview as well. Now, I don't want to show you this one yet because, uh, uh, so I've got me my downloads here, so it's quite handy because I can just click on full police interview and new docs. Right, this is the one. This is from the docket. So thank you to the docket. Right. Oh. There was a, yep, so, that's yeah. a true story. Right. You know, I ain't gonna lie, I was. Uh, we got 55 in. Oh, and all that. So we woke up early. Um, the plan was that we were going to get McDonald's breakfast on the way. So we made amazingly good time. Let uh, me to interrupt you, okay? Um, neither of us were here yesterday. So if you can be kind of like specific. Now, this is the interview the police did with them. I, I believe it was on the Tuesday, the day after she went missing. Because it was on the Wednesday, he got arrested. Ha, ha, ha. That's why you were so upset, wasn't it, mister? You had lost A, your money maker, and B, your whole life is going to crash and tumble down around you. So this is the interview with the police. Right, ignore the picture. I'm just actually... Because this time in the interview, I'm going to put up. Oh, <coughs> 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 this one. Yeah, yeah, put that one up. Okay. And let's listen to what the. Let's say. Big about like times and 
and stuff like that, okay? Um, woke up around 7, 7.15, somewhere around there, uh, which is an early start for us, but she, we had talked about getting McDonald's breakfast beforehand, so we wanted to make good time. Um, we did make good time. We got out the door maybe 7.30, 7.45-ish, maybe. Got over to that area. She was asleep in the car most of the time, just snoozing until we got there. We got to McDonald's. We're close to McDonald's. I said, you still want it? She wasn't interested in the McDonald's anymore, so we continued on. And uh, she wanted to be dropped off a little down the ways from the school. She's got this phase that she's been into lately where she's very particular about what car she's seen getting out of in front of the school. Um, she prefers a mom's car, but my cars are, I guess, kind of empties. Um, I get it. It's an image thing. But um, that was sometime probably between 8.20 and 8.40-ish, somewhere in there. It was along the stretch of the road that um, on the right side that has all the communities on it. Mm -hmm. Before you get to the overpass, you can see the overpass from where it was. Mm -hmm. uh, so it was on that side on that stretch of road. And that's where I dropped her off. She said she was going to go wait for her friends. She's going to find them and hang out and wait for her friends. And I asked if that was going to be okay. She said, yeah, it's fine. Um, kids get dropped off early enough as it is. It's not totally unusual for that to happen. It's just not usually that early that I drop her off. I mm -hmm. do school runs every once in a while for her. Um, I said, okay. Let her out. Have a good day. Love you. Thanks. Love you too. And I turned around and was driving away and was watching her in my rearview mirror to make sure that right. she was. I'm just going to go back because I think I missed it. You're listening to it. Okay, with you. I get it. It's an image thing. But um, that was yeah. sometime. 1313. Today's date is February 27, 2024. The time is 1916 hours. We're in Kissimmee speaking with Stefan Stearns. Okay, so we just, I know that you already spoke to the other detective, right, about everything that kind of happened today. If you can just kind of go over it with us one more time, the timeline from like when you guys woke up and took her to school and all that. So we woke up early. Um, the plan was that we were going to get McDonald's breakfast on the way. So we made amazingly good time. I, I don't mean to interrupt you, okay? Um, neither of us were here yesterday. So if you can be kind of like specific about like times and and stuff like that, okay? Um, woke up around 7, 7.15, somewhere around there, uh, which is an early start for us. But she, we had talked about getting McDonald's breakfast beforehand. So we wanted to make good time. Um, we did make good time. We got out the door maybe 7.30, 7.45-ish, maybe. Got over to that area. She was asleep in the car most of the time, just snoozing until we got there. We got to McDonald's. We're close to McDonald's. I said, you still want it? She wasn't interested in the McDonald's anymore, so we continued on. And uh, she wanted to be dropped off a little down the ways from the school. She's got this phase that she's been into lately where she's very particular about what car she's seen getting out of in front of the school. Um, she prefers a mom's car, but my cars are, I guess, kind of empties. Um, I get it. It's an image thing. But um, that was sometime probably between 8.20 and 8.40-ish, somewhere in there. It was along the stretch of the road that um, on the right side that has all the communities on it mm -hmm. before you get to the overpass. You could see the overpass from where it was. Mm -hmm. uh, so it was on that side on that stretch of road. So it wasn't in the car park then. It was on the side of the road that it dropped her off. Not in the car park. And that's where I dropped her off. She said she was going to go wait for her friends. She's going to find them and hang out and wait for her friends. And I asked if that was going to be okay. She said, yeah, it's fine. Um, kids get dropped off early enough as it is. It's not totally unusual for that to happen. It's just not usually that early that I drop her off. I mm -hmm. do school runs every once in a while for her. 
Uh, I said, okay. Let her out. Have a good day. Love you. Thanks. Love you too. And I turned around and was driving away and was watching her in my rearview mirror to make sure that she was going where she was supposed to go. And she was moving in that direction, but she was rummaging around in her backpack or something. What I assumed was probably headphones or something like that. But I found out later that she forgot her phone here. So she may have been rummaging for her phone. Um, but she was still kind of making her way towards, towards that direction. So it looked okay. We are talking the other day. And I just continued on. Okay. When you said you dropped her off, like, in the area, kind of, like, where exactly did you drop her off? So if you pull down the street going towards the school, mm -hmm. um, you've got that whole strip of communities on the right side there. Mm -hmm. It was in that stretch of sidewalk there. We pulled in and maybe maybe about halfway up the street or so, and she was, like, right here's good. Was it like in one of the apartment complexes, the church? Not in, it was outside one of the apartment. It was just on the sidewalk on the That's side of the road there. It's just like a tuck and roll, you know? Okay, so like if I were to be on the road, where, the like, there. what do you remember seeing that you dropped her off at? I remember the, the overpass is up ahead. Mm -hmm. um, the sidewalk was on the right. Row of trees. There's, I think, a median in the middle. Mm -hmm. um, and then there was another community, maybe across from that before you get to the church. Mm -hmm. So it was like before the church. So Town Loop Boulevard's that street that connects to the school. Yeah. That, okay. Is that the, the street that you. Is this which one? So that's Town Loop Boulevard, right? Town that's Loop, the one yes. that. And where's the school located here? The school's right here. School's right there. Okay, so the school would be on the left in this case. Here's the overpass so you, you I was talking about. Center? Yeah, we okay. came from Town Loop, I think, mm -hmm. which is Town Center. Yeah, so we made it right here and then pulled somewhere, somewhere about. So you came from Town Center and turned onto Town Loop. Yeah, where's where's the church? Is this the church here? Uh, there is. Yeah, so, that's yeah. the church. Okay, yeah. so we weren't up to the church yet. So we were pulled on to here and then we pulled maybe about halfway up here. And I dropped her off somewhere in this this area here. And she walked from there to the school? Yeah. It's, it's a pretty she, long way. It's maybe a block or so, but it's not out of the ordinary for her. She likes to do that sometimes. She likes the cold weather. She's wearing her hoodie. She uh -huh. likes the cold walk. So you dropped her off near Lilac? Does mm -hmm. that sound right? Yeah, it wasn't at a cross street. It was just at just a bit of the sidewalk there. So did you merge into the sidewalk or did you stop in the middle of the street or? I just pulled over to the sidewalk there. Let her hop out. How often do you drop her off? This might be the fifth or sixth time I've ever done it. Okay. And when you drop her off, where do you normally drop her off at? Um, normally down the street from the school. She requests that a lot. Like the it, same it, area or somewhere especially else? Especially if it's sometimes in the church parking lot. Sometimes just wherever she tells us to let her out, um, as long as it's close, you know. So it was halfway between Town Loop and uh, and Town Center and the church. Yeah, it's like it's just in this stretch right here. Like we got about maybe halfway up and okay. was there. The McDonald's that you guys were gonna stop at. Did you pull into the plaza at any point? No, she. 86 the idea before we even got there what, what do you mean by 86 oh uh, poo pooed the idea didn't want it anymore okay Wasn't in the mood anymore. at any point while you were driving to the school did you make a u-turn well that was a bad, bad choice of words she 86 the idea when the, in reality, he had already 86 her. Mm. Yeah. Piece of shit. I'm glad they said it. I uh, yeah, I tried to sell her on McDonald's one more time because I was still kind of hungry, but at that point, she was also just wanting to get to school. Okay. So where, we turned right back around. Where did you make that U-turn out? Uh, actually, the school park, uh, not the school parking lot, the church parking lot. Uh, I pulled into that, turned around, and pulled back out. Um, did the UV there and went back to the McDonald's. Uh, she still wasn't having it. 
defense when we came back. See, the McDonald's is on the same town loop or town center. It connects to the same road that the, mm -hmm. that the, that the school is on. on. Yeah, so, so it's, it's like a straight shot. So you guys came from, just so I can kind of get a good visualization, town center and mm -hmm. what, what? where did you come from, town center? Uh, town center, so where, where's the McDonald's? Um, I'm so bad at reading these, I'm sorry. Um, so we, we this came- This is all town center. So we on town loop, I believe. Is, is that the school that, is that the road that the school is on? No, this is town center. Okay. So you said you were on town center and then you made a right on town loop, which yeah. is the one that takes you to the school. Yes, correct. Right? I think you passed it. But what I'm saying is before Town Loop, uh, or I'm sorry, for Town Center, what, what street did you take? Uh, I'm, so, I'm so sorry. I'm bad with the streets around here. How, how do you usually get to the school? Uh, oh, wait. I just take John Young and then wait till I see the McDonald's and make a left there and then follow that around. And that goes straight into the, the road that the school is on. I just use, use the landmarks and I don't memorize the street names. Is that too lucky? Yeah. Yes, this is JYP. I mean, at the McDonald's, you turn right? And then you McDonald's, go McDonald's, and then go around, and then that shoots straight into the road that she's on okay because that's i believe that's the correct road yeah well that's the fastest way to get there mm -hmm. but you told me you came from town center and town loop I, i'm sorry I, I don't know the street names. okay <laughs> sorry, so no, that's okay so now that we know that you came from john young parkway and you made a left on town loop mm -hmm. So you passed the McDonald's. So, yeah, that was when she said no to McDonald's the first time. Okay. So you guys keep on going on town loop. Yeah. But at that point, we still had a lot of time to kill. <coughs> again, again. So what did you guys do? Um, drove towards the school, made a U-turn, came back. Really bad. <laughs> really bad thing to say. We just had time to kill. No, mm -hmm. bro. Yeah. You'd already done it. You'd already done it. They do say that words, your words will give you away because you can't not to control your brain and the way you're thinking. You begin and you be stopping and um, we uh, like that sort of thing. You literally, uh, um, um. Right, so when you're talking, and we went to the school, and then we did a turn around, and we went back. We had time to. It's that's it's got it on his mind. It's got what he has already done. It's on his mind. You know what I mean? She's sitting next to him, unalive, in the car. You know what I mean? So when he's recollect recollecting what happened that day. He's got the word kill on his mind. Because my cats are going, my cats are going mental again. So, you wasn't even killing time. You was trying to come up with a plan. Yeah. Back, tried to do the McDonald's thing again. She didn't want it. So I, where did you, I, one I more did time, where her, did you do the, the U-turn at? Uh, it, Probably was right by the church because it was still way too early for school. So it was on that stretch of road. I mean, they had the meeting there and a the separation. So they, that left turn where the church is, um, you can make the U turn there. And then after you dropped her off, what did you do? Uh, stayed, talked to her for a minute, told, made sure, you know, is it, is it all right that you're 
going early because it was it was still early. Mm -hmm. um, she said, "Yeah, it's fine. I'm gonna hang out, wait for my friends to get there, which she does sometimes. So it didn't didn't sound you know outrageous or anything." Um, that was it. Told her to have a good day. I loved her. She told me she loved me too. I turned around to leave, and I was watching her in my rearview mirror. She looked like she was walking in the right direction. She was rummaging in her bag a little bit, like I said, but still sort of just shambling in the right direction while she was doing it. So it looked, it looked normal. It looked okay. Okay, and then what did you do after you left the area? Uh, I left to go to the local vape shop because I needed some more vape juice. They weren't quite open yet, so I ended up going back home. I waited about an hour or so and then went back and checked the vape shop again. Uh, it was open, so I got what I needed there. And, uh, came back. Home. Do you remember what time you came home? The first time was probably... right around 10, close to it. And then I waited here and went back to the vape shop. Um, probably finished at the vape shop and came back home again a little after 11. Okay. You said the first time that you know a little bit, right? Yeah. Was there when you got here at yes. 10? Okay. I think so. She might've been at her blood appointment. Let me double check. I know she, was at, she had a blood appointment at some point during the day. Oh, it's okay, we don't have to ask her right now. Sorry, everything is a blur. So she might have been here, she might have not have been here. I the believe first time. she was here because she she was sleeping in as much as she possibly could because she's been messed up with in the work schedule. So she had to be here because she didn't want to sleep in. Okay. I'll double check, but yeah, I, I believe she was here. And then what time did you say you left again to the smoke shop? Uh maybe after an hour or so, maybe eleven or so. Okay. And then what time did you get to the smoke shop? Um it's maybe 10 minutes away, so, so not long after that. I stopped in and got some juice. What's the name of the smoke shop? Uh, East Mobile Online. Okay. It's just over off of John Young, so not far from school. And then after the smoke shop, what did you do? Okay, for how long? Um, at least until maybe 1230. 45 or something like that. Um, and then what'd you do after that? Uh, I had a couple errands to run over on 192. Uh, she was talking about making a BJ shopping list. Uh, she just wanted to make sure I was back in time for us to both go pick up. Um, so I was visiting some card shops around the area on 192. Um, I'm kind of a nerd, so we had a new trading card game release and I was seeing what the situation was with it. Do you remember what places you visited? Uh, yeah, Coliseum of Comics. Um, stopped by a couple of Targets and I was going to go to House Rules Games down by Oak in 192, mm -hmm. uh, but I didn't make it that far. I got a flat tire on the way. Do you remember where you got your flat tire? It was on 192. I pulled in over into one of those plazas somewhere. Um, it's been about years since I switched out a tire though so I made a lot of rookie mistakes and oh we know you got a flat tire but is it where you said you got a flat tire is it mate nope apparently you were seen changing your tire or what looked like you're changing a tire just across the road in like a little pulling like a little driveway from where you hit her body you file piece of S H I T. I ended up pinning my thumb between the frame and the, oh, the no. jack. Yeah, I'm lucky it's not a lot worse than it could have been. Ah. Do you remember the name of the plaza by any chance? Do you remember like what stores were? It, it was plaza? it was like right before you got the oak though. So it was one of those little strips. Okay. Uh, and then but I did not that? make it back in time. Time because of that, I thankfully had the spare. I put that on and tried to get back in time, but caught every red light on the way. She ended up leaving to pick up Maddie without me. I was about 10 minutes late on that. 
I called her and let her know what happened. I apologized profusely because I promised I'd be there with her to go pick her up. Just sat and waited. After that, she had already gone to get her, so I just sat and waited and hung out, straightened up the house a little bit. Started making calls to her family, be on the lookout, she might be walking to you. That's just when everything sort of started going down. I want was it? Did you check on the map the the cell phone? I noticed, I'm sorry, um, but I think she put up her phone, right? Is it normal for her to not have her phone? Unfortunately, she's severely ADHD, as am I and her mother. Mm -hmm. um, so it is not uncommon at all, and that very, very usual thing for her to forget again. She'd forget her head if it wasn't screwed up. Uh, we're forgetful about, you know, writing her about that. We'll remind her, and then it will leave our mind, and she'll say, okay, and then it will leave her mind. And is she on medication for this, though? Normally, yes. Uh, she's been staying with her grandparents a lot this week while her mom was working. Uh -huh. uh, so she has not been getting her medication a lot. Okay. So she was really spaced. Where's mom working? Uh, what? Changed in her hours that she's in this office. She's treated, so it's not a set schedule yet. Okay. It's just early this day, late closing time this so day. So different hours. Yeah, no, that takes a toll. So I came up here. She needed help. Uh, I split my time between two places. I needed a visit. We all needed to be a little happier together. So it's a great thing. Just tell me. And where's someone going? Great. Because the school's up here. We're messing up the streets again. Yeah, tell me. This one's town side, but town. We're just trying to figure out your direction of travel, right? I'm, I'm so sorry. These, I'm so bad with that area over there, Hunters Creek. You said you made a U turn mm -hmm. at the church to go see if she wanted McDonald's again, correct? Yes. Did you go anywhere else? Because I know you said you had time to kill. Yeah. Did you guys go anywhere else? No, we didn't go anywhere else. Is there a reason why you would be back on John Young Parkway? Uh, when we tried to go back to McDonald's a second time, uh, we would have made a left over there instead and just looped around again. What do you mean? Just ma made a circle. Made a circle How? Can you show me on the map? Um, so, so this going, is the McDonald's going back right down here, to right? McDonald's. That's the McDonald's right Correct. Right. So going back down and then just straight shot back right down. You there. would come down this way? I can't read the map. I'm so sorry. Yep, I'll go. Where's the McDonald's? McDonald's is right here. This is Town Loop. So okay. this is Jong Yong Parkway. Jong -Yong. You guys are coming okay. up Jong Yong. This is McDonald's. Yep. And the school's on this corner. Correct. Over somewhere over here. Mm -hmm. So we come back out here, there, and then we can take a straight shot back down to the school again there. They, they connect Town Loop. Right. So it's. So where did you make the U turn? You. The U turn was was on the street when we were going to go back to McDonald's. And we drove down to McDonald's here. All right, so, so just so I don't get confused, you're going up Jung Young Parkway, right? You're going north. Bend. Originally, yes. Right. You make a left make a at left the McDonald's. Here, go towards the school. Okay. How far did you get uh, before you made the U turn? So you're, you're back. 
Is this, is this the school right here? Yep, that's the town side, uh, town loop. So we got up to here and then made a U-turn over here, past the median. Okay. So. We're back to McDonald's. On Lincoln Town Loop. Still, roughly. still time to kill. She still didn't want McDonald's, but I did give her a raspberry and cheese Danish. So did you go through the drive-thru? Did you no. go inside? No. Didn't go inside. Where did you get the Danish from? Oh, I the Antonis that I brought from home. There's a couple of those from home. Okay. So she wasn't without food totally. So we just continued past it again and turned around and said, screw it, you know, just drop you off early. Okay, so you came back around to the McDonald's. Yeah. And then right onto the school road. What's psst, psst, is that back on so John Young Parkway? Yeah, or? back on the John Young Parkway. It comes down here. Mm -hmm. And then here's town center again. So then you took to town center yes. the second time around? Yes, and then put me right down to the school. Do you okay. remember what time you dropped her off? Uh, I estimated it to be sometime between 8.20, Are you, um, on your phone, do you have, um, Google Maps? I do, but I wasn't mapsing it. When you're giving her rights, does she sit in the front or the back? She sits in the front. She sits in the front. Do you mind if I look at your maps real quick? Yes. And just to confirm, also, you said so the second time around, you said you went up uh, John Young Parkway, you went through town center this time, you made a right on town, and then you said you uh, dropped it was uh, right here in this stretch here around this thing. Okay. Which was before the underpass? Correct, before the church. The church was ahead on the left. The underpass was just beyond that. The school was just on the other side of the underpass. So maybe, okay, maybe, on the left hand side. Maybe a block away. Okay. And you said that that's typical of her to walk that distance? Yeah, she likes the morning walks when it's cool. Uh, she doesn't like getting being seen getting out of certain cars. You know, being a little slower. It's an image thing. She's, she's not to do that. Okay. Do you want to register? Twenty eight thirty, sometime between eight twenty and eight forty. What time does she go into class? Uh, she has to be there no later than nine fifteen. Doors open at eight. I okay. mean, and doors open at nine. I think. And, and then school officially starts around nine twenty or nine twenty eight. I think. Okay. So that. And when you dropped her off, is that earlier than typical, later than typical, around the same Early, time? Earlier than typical. Early. We had made really good time that morning. And with the subtraction of McDonald's, uh, we had more time than, than usual. Okay. But she said it was okay. She was very confident, convincing that it would be fine. And you saw what direction she walked to after you dropped her off? Yeah, it looked like she was moving towards the direction of the school like she was supposed to. Was she still on the right side of the road or did she cross she was over? When I left her, yeah, she was still on the right side. What kind of car is this? Uh, S23. Okay. I don't know what this thing I'm sorry, I barely know how to work it myself. I'm an iPhone person. Uh, is it okay if I go in your settings real quick? I just want to see if you're logged on to your Google. I am not logged on to my Google with that. Here she comes the WAPA. Yeah. Does she have any other devices besides that phone? Any other electronics? She had her school laptop with her. Is that is that uh, still supposed to be with her? Still supposed to be with her, yes. Okay. And what kind of book bag does she carry? Uh, black book bag with like gray, gray, gray grayish blue hibiscus flowers on it, like a print. When she leaves in the mornings, does she, what does she usually put her phone? Um, either in her backpack or like her back pocket, kind of wherever she just thinks to, to put it at the time. Hold on, I don't know how to use this phone. 
Sorry, I don't mean to interrupt. Yeah. I don't know, you've probably been asked already, but she's never. Actually, it's it was weird. Because I read somewhere where her school didn't start until like 9.30 or 9.40. It was a weird time. Because it made no sense for her to be there an hour and a half before it even started. It makes no sense to drop her off, you know, a block or two away. I mean, obviously, we all know he's lying his ass. Call me Captain Obvious. We all know that. Um, but yeah, her, I read somewhere where. The school time was, it starts, it started later, much later, like an hour, an hour and a half later. The normal time is, like so whoever it is, put it in chat, 8 o'clock. But this female detective, well, both of they're all over him. They're all over him ran away or been away for longer than a certain period of time, uh, amount of time. I don't know. She's very dependent on him, so I don't think she'd know what to do if she did run away. She's not the type. She's a good kid. Besides the ADHD, is she diagnosed with anything else? Uh, yeah, um, she was tested a while back and had some symptoms of autism. So she's potentially on the spectrum there. Oh. Uh, she was officially diagnosed with it when she was younger. And then she was retested and said, well, she shows symptoms of being on the spectrum, but maybe not full on autistic. Is this what you use to um, go places? Yes. Go places, search addresses, look at store hours. Right. Lottery back taste. It's a pretty new phone. Have we had any updates? Uh, we literally have like 50 people right now on scene looking. I don't know if there's any updates, but this is going to be the other detective because he's um, he's the one that is in charge of all this. I think I've eaten anything since yesterday. Oh, did yeah, I'm sure you guys are worried. When did you come back to um morning? Yeah. Um, what do you mean? Like, cause you lived down south, right? When did you come back up north to help her? Um, I just got here this weekend. Do you remember what day it was? <clears throat> uh, Sunday. Sunday was her birthday party, so yeah, it was. It was. The evening after her birthday party, Sunday. Okay. Do you remember what time you got here on Sunday? Um, eight eight thirty ish, maybe. Okay. 
So he wasn't at the party then? Some time to make sure that she was doing all her nighttime routines. I'm waiting for her mom to get home. Right? Yeah, I split my time between the two. Is that places. on Snug Street? Snug Street, okay, yeah. That makes sense. You have a lot of Snug Street on here. Yeah, I split my time between the two. Is that Broward County or? Uh, Sarasota, Sarasota County, Sarasota. Okay. or Charlotte County, either way. Um, it's my parents' house. They, they're old, they need help these days. They got the house full of poodles. And, it's chaos. So I needed to come back up here and just get away from that. No, you needed to be two deaf old people yelling at each other and poodles yapping all the time. Oh, uh, shit. You don't have to drive anyone up a wall. It's very, very happy to be back here. Did you and your wife, when you guys were looking for, the, where do you guys look? Me and her stayed local. It was all the rest of the family that mobilized and was was beat in the bushes. And, and did you guys drive together or separate? Uh, I don't think we drove anywhere when we were looking. You didn't drive anywhere? I, not that I recall. Did you guys go anywhere last night? Was that media? Maybe I think Fox Thirty Five or something. Yeah, let me if it is. Let me tell him. Can you see okay. Um, I don't recall. You have to ask her if we went anywhere. I don't recall. I was so zonked out on Ativan at that point. Okay. So it was a wreck. Uh, I don't. And this would have been when? Uh, I don't recall us going anywhere last night. But I, honestly, at that point, my brain was mush, and I was on so many tranquilizers to keep me stable. It's just <laughs> to Ativan. Yeah. Yeah. Do you usually take that or? Yeah, I have a prescription. I haven't needed it in a long time, though. But, uh... What's up? Tranquilo Tran tranquilizers to keep him stable. Are you kidding me? Oh, I'm going to do this. I'm done. What do tranquilizers do? I'm done. What? Yes. Tranquilizes to, to you. Probably I'm about to read. Reducing irritability or excitement. A sedative or tranquilizing note one is a substance, substance that induces sedation. I'm going to say, by reducing irritability or excitement, they are CNS depressants and interact with brain activity, causing its deceleration. Uh, sleeping pills are mine and tranquilizers, including how they can help with your mental health. I suppose I'm on them, then, aren't I, Mom? You know what I mean? Anti-anxiety medications, if you have data protection law means, we'll have to delete your comments. Okay. Uh, sedatives out of work. Opioids are especially prone to become addictive. I'm not on opioids. Even if they took me off my one tablet that I have out every night, I think I'd kill them. Not really. Sleeping pills are mine. Yeah. It's more for sleeping, really. Right? <laughs> yeah, it just got me when you said that. I'm not trying to love uh, Anxiety. Oh. I was having these rolling panic attacks and breaking down crying, and I just. Oh, I got one, sorry. I'm free. Mm -hmm. And. Uh, it was the only way I could get to sleep last night. 
Oh, because you didn't have your poor, oh, yeah, yeah, beautiful little Maggie I'm sorry. You can add it in and conked out. Any time when I'm not crying. What? It's okay if I just pop down real quick. Go ahead. Oh, there was something I wanted to show you, but I'll, I'll try and find it while you're watching this. Yeah, okay. And what was it now? What the hell do you say? Is it okay if I pop down real quick? So we're trying to get just a good idea, times, all that stuff. Um, yeah. um, I'm so sorry. I'm giving my best recollections. I'm not a morning person as it is. No, he's not a morning a person. Times he's a nice kind of person. He likes his snuggles. Uh, <laughs> but we know that you go up Jong Young Parkway. Down, that's the, yes. the road you usually take um, yeah. to take her. And then you make a left at that McDonald's, right? Which is the yeah. town loop. You can make a left to get there either at the McDonald's or at town center itself. They both lead to the school. <sighs> so if you leave her at, just so you get a sense of direction, Jong Young Parkway goes northbound and mm -hmm. southbound. So you're going northbound. Mm -hmm. into Orange County, making a left at the McDonald's, which is the town loop. You said when you did drop her off at that medium, you said it was around 8.20, 8.30-ish, somewhere so, around that time. Somewhere in there, yeah. It was, it was early, but not like outrageously early, you know? So what would you estimate when you made a left at the McDonald's to be? Early. Too early. Uh, after I dropped her off? No, I'm saying when when you dropped her off. Oh, um, first left by that McDonald's? Yeah, when you first go, you th that first left that you make at the McDonald's. It had to have been around maybe eight, eight, maybe quarter after eight, sometime in there. Okay. Sometime between eight and a quarter after, I think. All right. So just so it's, uh, you can kind of picture it here on the map. So you're going northbound. You yeah. make a left here around like 8, 10, 8, 15. Let's say 8, 15, around there. When you get over here, she changed your, you make a U-turn. You go back to the McDonald's. But you said that she, he still doesn't want the. McDonald's. Still doesn't want it. She was just going to eat the danishes that I had given her. So you're going up here now, still northbound on Jong Young Parkway. Mm -hmm. You make a left at Town Center yeah. this time. Town Center, then make, a, make right a right onto mm -hmm. yes, and this then this you drop road. her off and around like drop her off around halfway up the road there. So keep in mind, all of this is still northbound. Okay. Right, you're still northbound on Jong Young Parkway. Northbound. So why is your car seen going southbound at eight ten? At Bam. Show you what location it is. Thank you for that. I was going to say the same. McDonald's is over here. Mm -hmm. Yep. At 810. The very meal is seen going southbound at this intersection. So, meaning going toward going Kissing. Mm -hmm. I had forgotten something. I had forgotten my gate clicker. I'm sorry. I forgot. I had gone back to the house real quick after we left. Yeah, I forgot my gate clicker. Um, I actually had to go through the front gate and use my parking pass uh, to grab my clicker. So it was the wrong time. I'm, I'm sorry. I, like I said, I was guesstimating these times. I'm not a morning person. Okay. So yes, um, we've gone out. How far did you get before you came back down that uh, when you realized you forgot your clicker? Nearly all the way, nearly all the way to the school. Um, and then we turned around. We had plenty of time to kill, so it was time to go back. I rushed back, got the clicker, and that's when I came back here this so way. So you guys came back here to get your clicker? Correct. So when we look at the cameras in the front, it's gonna show you coming back in Correct. here it with was, her in the yes, car? Yes, with her in the passenger seat, okay. yes. 
I know it sounds like we're asking you stupid questions, okay? We no, just want to verify okay. I'm, the I'm times. I'm sorry I'm not being more help. I'm not a morning person. I was half asleep as it was. I'm trying. The clickers to get to get where? To, in, into our neighborhood. Okay. And you, you forgot the clicker where? Uh, I've forgotten the clicker here. So how, how did you get in? Uh, I was able to use my parking sticker for them to scan to let me through. Okay. So could you not have done that after you dropped her off? I could have, but I also like to come back in from the back gate a lot of the times, and I didn't know if I would be back right away. Um, and sometimes they're busy up front, so it's better not to wait in the line. Is, uh, what, what time is security usually there at the front gate? They were there when I came through. He scanned my ticket. So would it have not just made more sense to drop her off and come back since security's already there? I don't know if it made more sense. It's just what I did. Okay. There you go. Oh, thank you. Anything else that we haven't asked you feels important? Maybe that might help us out. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm having trouble recollecting everything. Uh, I'm gonna step away for a second. Yeah. Anything that you remember? Maybe she might have told you. She didn't mention anything in particular. <laughs> I made a joke about her Crocs. She wears Crocs and socks. So we were joking about that. Would she say she's usually like a happy go, very know, go lucky girl? Very or? happy. She brings a lot of joy. She's a very good girl. It definitely doesn't feel the same around here if she's not here. Wait, 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 wait. What? She was so. Whoa. He's already talking about her in past tense. Yeah. 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 I need to stop. I just about to stop the video and here. Wait, does he say when she's not here or if she's not here? And then he follows it up with a was. It definitely doesn't feel the same around here if she's not here. Okay, he said if. She was so happy, too. Right there. She was, she was. so happy, too. Yes, I heard it. So, past tense. Yep. Past tense. She was looking forward to my visit here. She was looking. She was. She was. She was. She was. Looking forward to us all being together. She was just happy. She was just very happy. I don't have to stop this. No the docket is doing the brilliant job. Like she was my own. And it's just. It's, is she the only child, or does yeah. she have siblings? She's. she's a, she is the only child. Yes. Do you have any kids with anyone else, or no? no. So she's kind of. Is me. So you guys. Yeah, and her father, you've just wrecked his whole life. Wrecked it because of your selfish wants and needs. You guys, you'd say you guys have a good, pretty good relationship. Yeah, definitely have a very strong bond. Just but, you know, I'm I'm the person she goes to when. Her mom gets in a fight with her and she needs someone to comfort her and mm -hmm. like, um, that person for her, you know. How's her relationship with mom? Mm -hmm. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry. sorry. Can't remember how far we were. Whoa. He's already talking about her in past tense. Right, we'll leave it there. Sorry, I hit the wrong button. It definitely doesn't feel the same around here if she's not here. If she's not here. Wait, does he say if she's not when here. she's not here or no, if, if she's, she's not, not here? here? 
And then he follows it up with a was. Yeah. It definitely doesn't feel the same around here if she's not here. Okay, he said if. She was so happy to. Right there. She was yeah. so happy to. So past tense. Yeah. Past tense. She was looking forward to my visit here. She was looking. She was. She was. She was. Looking forward to us all being together. She's just happy. She's just very happy. Oh, I loved her like she was my own. Oh, you did, did And it's did. just, it's, is she the only child or does yeah. she have siblings? She's, she's a, she is the only child, yes. Yep. A true loving father doesn't look on a child like you did. Oh, but I forget, you're not her father, are you? You're just a predator. You know what? <coughs> <coughs> a lot of YouTubers finish the night off by saying, lock your doors, stay safe, keep the monsters out. Right? That doesn't apply no more. Because a lot of the times a monster is living in that house. So you can lock all the doors, all the windows, everything you want to stop that person getting in. But what about when the person's already in the house? Hmm? How does that child feel? No, she's got nowhere to go. No one's listening to her because she must have said something to her mum. Because don't forget, her mum said, that's what I was trying to find. I was trying to find that bit about where the mum said, um, I think it's on Cork TV. I'll have to find it. I'll do it any other night. But she said, had they all slept in the same bed? And Stephen said, yeah, she liked to snuggle. But when she's having an, when the mother was having an anxiety attack and needed to sleep, she'd tell him to go into another room. What? No, when I have an, if I ever have an anxiety attacks, which I do, I find going to sleep relaxes me, clears my mind, and I fall asleep. I wake up. I go into a deep sleep actually when I get when I have an anxiety attack. I go into a deep sleep, and I wake up feeling a lot better. My anxiety's gone. My headache. It's gone, my eyesight's fine. You know what I mean? I'm not all over the place. My head isn't all over the place. Because I've slept it. I've slept and the anxiety's gone. So wouldn't the mother feel the same? You know, I'm in bed now. Okay, I can relax. Let's just relax. You know what I mean? But you no, know, she has anxiety attacks when in bed. Why? Why do you have anxiety attacks when you go to bed, Jen? Do you have any kids with anyone else? Or? No. no. So no. she's kind of... They call me. So you guys, you'd say you guys have a good, pretty good relationship? Yeah. Definitely have a very strong bond. Just but, you know, I'm, I'm the person she goes to when her mom gets in a fight with her and she needs someone to comfort her. And, mm -hmm. like, um, I'm that person for her, you know. How's her relationship with mom? Good, most of the time. You know, puberty not long ago, so she's getting the PMS mood swings, and when her mom gets them too, you know, they butt heads. You know, so. As well as you can expect, but otherwise, very loving. Very loving. You know. This girl knows nothing but love here in this house. She hardly ever hears the word no. Double edged sword, that is. How is she in school? So so. She's so so in school. Like grade wise? She's, she's or doing a lot wise? better though. 
Apparently, she just made student of the week. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah. So we're very <laughs> She's doing singing choir. And she's sounding just amazing. She sang for me last night. And I immediately wanted to show her the movie Sister Act mm -hmm. because, because of the choir singing. It's so pretty. It reminded me. I told her I was very proud of her. Does she have, um, does she like video games, anything like that? She does yeah. like video games, yeah. Um, she plays Roblox, Minecraft. I think those are the big ones that I know of. You don't know if her to like ever have any friends on there that she talks to? Or anything she like does. That? She does group chats. She does like voice voice chatting too mm -hmm. on it, usually with like her cousins or her friends. Uh, and they'll all be playing Roblox or something, you know, yelling at each other on the phone. Um. Yes, that is. <laughs> When's the last time y'all lived together? Mm, December. December. Oh, December. And you said the reason was for your, your parents down there? Yeah, going down to help them because they're getting on in age and they're making their end of life plans and they need someone to help out. Can you lock this one again? Sure. Um, I have a question. Yes. Sorry, are you guys done? No, we're good. Um, the other detective mentioned that you did not have your phone yesterday? Correct. Tell me about that. I left my phone at home in the morning too. I was so busy riding herd over to get us out the door on time that I left my phone. She left her phone. Okay. We both left their phones. Did you have your phone when you went to the smoke shop? Not the first time after I dropped her off. I was still without it. Uh, I got it, got my phone and went back to the smoke shop uh, okay. later when I got home. And then... Right. <coughs> Re recollect. He stated when they pulled him up about seeing him driving down, going southbound at ten past eight. He stated that, oh, he forgot his pass to get in to the complex so they had time to kill so they went back to the apartment to get the pass why didn't you pick his phone up then i know i would have if i'd left my phone and went all the way back there because i forgot the pass to get in right i would have picked my phone up as well and you're like, why can you get his pass after? Why can you go drop her off at school like he had, do his little runabout like he said he did, and then come home? And still get in the same way as he got in the first time, by showing him something and signing something. So why did he have to come back that first time to get the pass? Why? Because that was his downfall. That was a big red flag because they caught him on camera with her in the car. And I also noticed, I was checking your call history. I noticed that you don't have anything before this morning. Is that no. unusual on your phone? Uh, no, it's, it's a new phone. I, stupid. I went to do an update yesterday morning. Um, and I don't know what the fuck, so, pardon me, um, I don't know what the heck I did, but somehow during the massive OS update, I managed to factory reset my phone and lose all of my contacts, all my information. Mm -hmm. What time was that? Do you remember? Oh, sometime while I was hanging out with her, I looked at her and said, what, what did I just do? Okay. Uh, she might know better. I don't know what time it was. It was when I was here. With... Okay. I don't think I have any other questions. Uh, do you? Lewis? I don't know where my head was yesterday. It was so far up my backside. That's okay. We understand. Um. In the meantime, while we're waiting for all this to get sorted out, I am going to hold on to your phone. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. I'll give it back to you when we're done. 
Okay. Do you have any questions for us? Um, how long are you going to need my phone? That's. I'm not sure. I'm waiting for my supervisor yeah. to call me. My dad. No, it's just my dad's using that to get a hold of me and get updates. Yeah, they can call Jen's phone. Okay. Did the other detective give you his business card? Um, I believe so. Okay, well, here's mine in case you want it for any reason. Okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. Do you swear that everything you told us is true? Yes. Okay, thank you so much. Thanks for your time. We appreciate it. I know it's a little hectic right now. <sighs> and then I know you were about to hit somewhere. If you can just hang tight and refrain from going back in your car, please. Oh, yeah, it's fine. I was actually going to move it over a spot. No, just leave it so. here. It's fine. Thank you. Hmm. Right. So, there's probably more red flags if I sit and listen to it again. But so far, dropped off on side of road, not in church car park like we thought she was. She's dropped off down the road from the church. Already talking in past tense, she was. I, I loved her like she was mine. I loved her like she was mine. Yep, right. Uh, I don't know what else is in here. Oh, just some new docs. Well, we don't need that. Right. The next one is, um, oh, hang on, um, I just want to show you this, it is the first document we had, I did, I did have the second one somewhere and I can't find it, and um, the second, the updated one where it's got 1,300 or 1,700 photos or videos on his phone or laptop or whatever. I think it'd be on his laptop. That was the other charges plus the murder charge. Right. Now, I just so wish this law they brought in was brought in last year. Because, or even the year before, because they could have had him on DP for these sexual assaults on her, even if it was only for a year. Because anything before that, they can't touch him on. So, because the law was only brought in this year, they can't get him on anything. They can't touch him on anything. But they can on the murder charge. They can go for the death penalty on the murder charge. And I hope and pray they do go for the DP. Right? But they haven't got a rush on that decision yet. They haven't got a rush. Right? So, because he's not going nowhere. So, I'll share this. And this is... Uh, it's a charging affidavit, right? I see like, like County Sheriff's Office. Uh, just tells you where his address was, his arrest was, where they arrested him, um, date, time of violation, date, time of arrest, arresting officer, um, then it says, a uh, court case, sexual battery victim under 12 years, familiar, familiar, familial bond of none. So we've got a, a, no bond, which we knew that anyway. Then this one here is the affidavit for the arrest warrant, right? Digi digitally, right from here. State of Florida, County of Osceola. Digitally appears the FA affiliate. Detective Bryant Moore, ID hashtag 804, a sworn law, enfor law enforcement officer to with an officer for the Kissimmee Police Department. He makes it, this affidavit and states under oath that a affiant has, pri has 
I can't get my words out today, has probable cause to believe that certain laws have been violated in Osceola County, Florida, and that on between the 3rd of 20th, 2022 to the 12th of the 3rd, 2023, the defendant, Stephen Michael Stearns, did violate Florida state statutes. C1, sexual battery, familial custodial authority. C2, charge 2, possession of material sexual performance by child. Now, we know there were 60 charges all in all in that. And each charge, there was at least 10 pictures or 10 videos on each charge. So that's like, if he's got 60 charges, there's like, uh, I want to say uh, probably about 40-something. 40, 40 so say 400. Right, because a lot of the charges were... Uh, right, I'll see if I can find that. Right. Ah, um, upon reviewing the contents of Stephen Stern's image several images and videos were located which depicted the missing juvenile with her first uh oh, i'm not reading this and whatever open opening as the focal point of the pictures videos there were also pictures and videos depicting the missing juveniles Vagina, vagina may have been penetrated by a pen. As such, the files depict the sexual performance of a child. I can't read this because it's sickening. Oh. So it's just sickening, that is. I don't think there's anything else. No, that's got nothing to do with that. Right. Uh, I'm going to shut that one down. So, I did pull it up, but I can't read that. It's just sickening. It really is that like this poor child was going through it and it was being filmed or f photos taken. You know what I mean? And that was only from 2022 to 2024 or 2023 or something like that. So, but we know it started when she was around about seven or eight years old. We know that now. This poor girl. And the fact that the mother even said that they'd all slept in the same bed. And when she needed a good night's sleep, she'd tell them she would either go in another room or she'd tell them to go in another room. How sick. What mother would let her partner sleep with their child? Come on. She must have known something. She must have. What mother would do that? Right, and I also believe her ashes, the father took, the father took her ashes, which I'm glad he did, because she don't deserve to have her ashes, because she wasn't there for her daughter when she needed, and you're telling me she didn't, she didn't know, she didn't know that her partner was abusing her child. Right? Didn't know. Right? And I'm sorry, but the child is going to act differently around someone who's abusing them. They could probably be, some might say they might be more willing to please the person and be good for that person. You know what I mean? But me, personally, I think, just my opinion, especially at her age, she'd be 
getting a bit distant from him. Oh, don't come near me. Don't come near me. She's 13, and he was putting her through hell for six or seven years. Six years, say. But that's, that's, I can't even work out how many days that is, but it's one day, too many. One day, too many. Way too many days. And you're telling me the mother didn't know. Right, okay. If they say that, then it's got to be right, hasn't it? But we haven't heard of the mother. Apart from the interview she had with the police when the police arrested him. And uh, they, she said she wanted proof. So she sh they showed her a picture of his pen and her mouth. And you know what she said? I don't recognise any of it. You don't recognise your own daughter. You don't recognise your own partner's body part. You know what I mean? You do. Because after that then, that's when she, they said she went very um, emotional. But I can't believe her, Madeline, wouldn't tell her mum. I can't believe she wouldn't tell her mum, especially as she was getting older. You know what I mean? So, anyway, don't need to watch anymore. I don't think... I'm going to just go through it. Just make sure. Oh, well done. This might be interesting to read. <coughs> yeah. Yeah. Right, so, anyway, oh, God, some cases, you know what, you don't want to cover, but you, you, you just need to cover it, because you just know this is such sickening, and parents need to be highlighted to this, do not trust your child with your partner, if they're not the... Even if they're the father, if the child, if that father is acting too full on with your child, stop and think. If your partner is acting too full on with your child, definitely stop and think. Right? So... You've got to be careful nowadays, ladies, with your children. You really have. You really have. You talk about oh, watching what they do on, on the internet. Well, watch what they do when they're at home and who they are with. Watch them. I'm not saying wrap them up in bubble wrap and cut them wool. I'm not saying that. Let them have a life. But watch your child when they're at home. Not just when they're online. Evil is everywhere. Danger is everywhere. Those monsters aren't outside no more. Those monsters are in your house. So watch your child. Right, so we've done the interviews. We've done the police thing. We've done that. Right. Um... This is what I wanted to get onto. Right, this is what I want to get onto. And I'll take this picture off because you won't see it otherwise. And you need to see it. Oh. 
好咗。嗱，俾啲網。What you just heard. This was this is the body cam of the police before these that interview. So really, I should have showed you that first and then the interview, the audio, right? But watching on this on this because. And there's, as I said, hold on, I'm just trying to get to the beginning. Right. And um, I'll go full screen for you so that you can see it better. But right now, I just want. Um, is that you? Yeah, right. Um, just think about what he he has done, right? What she has said, the mother. Then look at the body actions of the mother, and also watch Stearns. Watch him. Watch him. And watch the room around him. Watch the people around him. Note what the people are doing around him, and note what he is doing. Right? Now, if we can pick up on these things, and we're just Joe, Joe, public, whatever. We're just in the public. If we can see this on a video, and we can pick up on these things, then I'm sure the police have. Right? Put myself down in the corner, and away we go. Hopefully, that is completely redacted. There's two or three clips of the dogs. This is when the police officer just gets there, apparently. Of course. Uh, do they speak English? Yes, I speak. Okay. This is mom. This is mom. Okay. Hi there. As I said, watch him and watch the room. Watch the room. So my daughter was dropped off close to school this morning, but never made it. I want you to drop from school. I'm sorry. One second. Yes. Go ahead, sir. Are we looking for another kid, or we have his? Looking for another one. See, there's another child missing as well. I'm trying to get there right now. Okay. So she was supposed to be dropped off at school. Didn't make it to school. Didn't make it to school. I went to pick her up from school today, okay. and she never came out. They they announced it over the speaker, and I'm just like, maybe she walked here because sometimes she'll walk here to this office. Mm -hmm. Came here, nothing. I went back to the school. They were closed. Notice how calm he is. He isn't even shaking. Look at his arm. Hold on. Just get back. Just get a bit. Are we looking for another kid or we have a kid? Looking for another one. Watch his arm. His hands. It's not a shake, is it? I'm trying to get there right now. Okay. So she was supposed to be dropped off at school. Didn't make it to school. Didn't make it to school. I went to pick her up from school today, okay. and she never came out. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I hit the wrong button again. I don't know what I'm doing tonight. I keep hitting the wrong flipping buttons. Right. Right, you got it there. And off we go again. I'm so sorry. Mm -hmm. I came here, nothing. I went back to the school, they were closed. I got a notice, an email from 
the school saying she was absent, but I also messaged her teacher and he looked at her entire attendance today and saw that she was completely not at school today either. Okay. Um, so she never made it. Okay, what's her name? Madeline. M-A-D-E-L-I-N-E. M-A-D-E-L-I-N-E. -E. February 22nd, 2000. 22nd. Oh, sorry. 22nd. 2011. 2011. Right. Before we go any further, I just want to put this up. I have got it up in the corner, but it's a copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news, news reporting, teaching, scholarship and research. Well, this is like criticism, comment and research and news. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing non-profit, educational or personal use tips, the balance, personal use tips, the balance in favour of fair use. The video was made for entertainment purposes and is transformative in nature. Right, got that out of the way. Even though it is up in my corner, and I do always put it in my watching hand. Madeline Soto, age 13, trying to get the culture now. What was she last seen wearing? Just said, watch him and watch the people in the room around him. White Crocs. White Crocs. Either blue or black pants. I think black shorts. Black shorts? Yeah. Black shorts? Mm -hmm. Okay. Black shorts. All right. Do you know if she has like friends in the area? She does, but she knows where she lives. Do you know where she lives? Okay. I asked all of them. Um, okay. Is this like, does she like have any places that you guys know that she'll be usually be at? Any friends house? Any places that like get to hang out? Not typically. No. Not typically? No. Okay. Um, just give me one second. Let me see if there's some. Thank you. No problem. And what school she goes to? Hunter's Creek. Middle school. Hunter Creek Middle. All right, cool. One, two, five. Do you guys have? Do you have a picture of her? Can you airdrop it to me? Yeah, I know. Um, let me see the picture. I don't know what she's doing. Well, if you wait till me, call the phone first, right? Yeah, but I wasn't there, so I have to look at what's up. Go ahead. That's what I'm about to grab right now. Yeah. Is this a good enough picture or do you need a whole yeah, body picture? Okay. Okay. Oh, let me. This is the 27th, not the 26th. So, sorry about that. That would explain everything. <laughs> My apologies.
I saved it to my photos. So this is what you saved it to your photos? Yeah, because this is what you photos. Okay, perfect. Give me a second. Okay. Okay. I'm going to send it out right now to my other guys. Thank you very much. No problem. Hold on, guys. Right now, I've just gone onto Google Maps, right? And I thought, right, well, I want to find out from where the school is, from where they live to the school and where McDonald's is, right? McDonald's is over here, and that's quite a distance from the school. And you know, the school is here, right? And I believe, I can't remember now where it was she lived. Um, I can't remember where she lived now. But, here's McDonald's again. Where is he? Starbucks, McDonald's. There's McDonald's. So there's going to McDonald's from where they lived. Where did they leave? Right. No, you know what? I'm going to leave that. I'm going to do that another day. Because I, I'll find, I have got the address somewhere. I just can't find it. And I'm going to map it out. Oh, God, I'm not sharing it again. Wasn't it sharing? You didn't miss anything. It was just him going to the police car. My brain is completely froze. I got confirmation from the school that she never made it. They sent me an email saying she, she didn't make it. Mm -hmm. But I also spoke to her or emailed one of her teachers directly. And he no. looked at all her attendance for all her periods and told me she, she didn't make it at all today. Okay. Um, again? No, she was, she was, she was supposed to have a book bag. She was supposed to go to school, but didn't go to school today. Saturday, FGOA, 213819, and Turtle back to the third party and Saturday. Okay. Right. children by two juvenile males. They're requesting to have a family and code 219 class. Um, I'm trying to figure out uh, secondary spots, but so far, negative on anything. Um, yeah, you could be 51 of me. All right, cool. I see that you have a place yeah, to go. Yes, I think it's a part. This is the camera we have not got. We have not got his footage. Mm -hmm. We have not got his footage. And was the last time you seen her? Do you know the what run? What time? Around eight thirty, eight forty when we dropped her off. Uh, 
Does she have any markings on her, like any scars? She has a distinctive beauty mark on her face. On her face. Long side, Mike. Do you ever saw it? Yeah, like right in that area there. It's it's very distinctive. You'd know it if you saw it. Big. Any other scars or anything like that? Which scars? No. Tattoos. Tattoos. You'd be surprised. Did you put? I put the top part out. I didn't get the rest of those stuff. Wait, what did I miss? What the hell was so funny? Because she didn't have no tattoos. What was so funny? You'd be surprised. Did you put out the end? Any other scars or anything like that? Which you know, scars? No. Tattoos. No. Tattoos. Tattoo, no. Tattoo, no. no. You'd be surprised. <laughs> You'd be surprised. I put the top part out. I didn't get the rest of those stuff. Yeah. 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 Can I just see that phone? Black shorts. White pockets. Laundry, dirty blonde hair, blue eyes, having a beauty mark under the nose. See, I was watching the place. I was watching that up thing out. But if you go back, yeah. Um, go back, just to look. I didn't get the rest of them. Wait, what did I miss? What the hell was so funny? What was so funny? No, just carry on. Then. We'll see it on the end. Yeah. That's her profile? Yeah. Any Snapchat or. She hasn't been arrested because they need proof no, that's, that's that she knew. Without proof that she knew it was going on, they've got nothing. So that's it for that clip. Somebody said somebody said it was nineteen forty three. Did somebody say that in chat? Because I don't see nineteen anywhere. All I see is T double O. And then forty one and the fifty eight seconds ticking. I am completely baffled by, you know, I, I'm reading the report. She was reported missing at 4.20-something that afternoon. And they're just now literally getting a photo of her. And you heard the cops say that he's got to get it out to his other people. Or maybe you haven't yet, but it, it's coming if you haven't. It shows on the police phone. Yeah, it shows okay, Sam. on the phone. Okay, Sam, put it in there. Right? Good work. Good work. Because I did not see that. Is that it? I, because I still can't see it.
I'm just trying to make sure I don't. Screw everybody up with. Are you talking about that? No, you see, you see his phone face up, so you see the time. Now play. Okay. So if you want to help me out with this one, yeah. my signal is expert. <laughs> That would definitely make more sense then. <laughs> Still a hell of a long time. See how he's over there and you're talking like that. When she sees it, please stop. Please run. And I've already gone through her messages. Okay. How about this year? Rewind when he first gets. Never showed up, so they they called. Oh well, damn, bam. Okay, thank you. <laughs> yeah, pretty obvious. You can't when you went into the office, like I said, I haven't watched them all. I just skimmed them. So thank you, great catch. Thank you guys. So now we're looking for. Something after that. So you shouldn't be pulling. pulling, but you know, pulling the arm. With like the against the foot. Like, another caller and he's going to totally cut you yep. off. Yeah. It's hard to between that location <laughs> and the neighbors for a while. Yeah, like, way, this, this is a clip of the dog. You don't take too much, really. Negative. They both say two and fifty one. They both uh, anonymous. Hello and welcome, everybody. Thank you for stopping in on the docket to check this footage out. Please subscribe, like. Keep going around. Yeah. I'm not sure how much you want to sit and watch this. It is one of the longer clips, but what you see is basically what you get. Not picking up a scent. He's not. He's just smelling around, hoping he picks up a scent. Picks up that scent, and he's not. I'm not sure when I learned my lesson to quit taking stuff for face value. 
I just assumed that, you know, all body cam footage time is always correct. And knowing full well that rarely is it, it's always wrong. <laughs> If he goes oh. back this No, we're way, just watch, back we're back watching this now to watch their dog do a poop and she doesn't even pick it up. Yeah, I mean, that's what's so confusing. It's because she was reported on the 26th. At 4.43. And then they show up three hours later. So. I'd make it. Round it up to 7.50. Ish somewhere in that area. Seven forty two to be exact, according to his phone. Yeah, I guess the date's even wrong. It's the date is wrong according to the body camera footage. According to the, the, the body cam the overpass there. Cameras or anything? No. County cameras. I don't think I don't think we would listen to those. Bruh. Because now it's saying it's 7 06 a.m. So yeah, I mean just disregard the body cam and the music here, which Animal. No doubt that they were searching out into the night and probably into the 27th but it clearly isn't seven o'clock in the morning there it would be daylight it's florida for crying out loud See, that's the fly out the overpass. Believe there. So you only got to go under there, under here, and the school's right on the other side. Yeah, I don't know how much of this you got. <laughs> you know they're not going to find any. I'm not trying to take your all's whole day up. I know that there's people watching. Officer O'Keefe's trial and wanting to get back to that. I actually have. Uh, she, lives, she works back toward. Um, so, what is it? Like a. Insurance? Uh, tax? No. Oh. Tax season? Yeah. That's what's up. Oh, so that's where she worked at. Okay. I guess there are some nuggets in there. No, that's what I'm saying, Debbie. You can't go by the time. You want to go back to where she first got dropped off at? It like, be, that's a bar. It's like right up the road. Like right it up. would be daylight it was the last scene at 7 o'clock in the morning. Okay. That's fine. Because it's like a backtracking. Hi, Justine.
usually slower, like the, like a more like the bottom of the triangle. Oh, okay. But they would normally be like a pace like that. Just because he's working hard to try to find it. But. He's picking up everybody else's scent. Yeah, he's got to try to like filter through everybody else and like everybody else's like scent. So uh, there's a school there in the background. The school is in the background there. Uh, you can see my mouse. So it's right under that up there. And here, like to check. Oh, yeah. Back to check. And like to exit or entrance. But it's like in a non driveway. Where there's trails and stuff. Yeah. Oh, okay. so, so it's not that far to walk from the church, but like, from what I understand, yeah, it's further down the road. He kind of dropped it. I'm assuming they're somewhere around the school yeah, or the church. Through all these dogs Maybe this all sign coming up will tell us. That's a chair, yeah. Let me go a little bit further that way. Okay. He's not, he's not that still, if you all have better eyes than I do, maybe you all can catch it. Do you want to re? Peace, check, check. Peace, something. See, church. Of course, every time I stop it, it's blurry. It can't. <sighs> yeah, peace. Does that say something? Church? Peace Church? Peace? Okay. So, yeah, they're around where... Knucklehead said that he dropped her off at. I was always oh, in the school? that he dropped her off at the church, that he pulled into the church. She got out, so he pulled her out of the church, and she went to school. But she, he didn't, he dropped her off further down this road. There. You guys see if you can, I can't, my eyes are just that bad. Do you want to re? Okay, preschool. Sorry. Okay. Why would they be around the preschool though? She was in middle school. No, that's the school, the church. Peace, peace. <laughs> it's a church with a preschool. Okay. Ah. There's another nice neon sign coming up. If they can get close to that. Hi there, everyone on air. It really doesn't matter. We know there's nothing here. We know, we're just going we know to they're not going to find anything. We're just going you know, over doing their the police body cam again. And um, I'm going to have to watch it again because there is a little bit of bits coming out. But I'm not catching it because it's going so quick. So I'm going to have to go over it again myself. 
in slow motion to catch what they are saying. But we're now just at the where the dogs are just sniffing around and they're, getting no they're doing their job. And we, I've just realised tonight you know, that it wasn't the church he dropped her off at. He dropped her off some de somewhere down this road before the church, before they actually got to the church. He dropped her off down there. So, yes, that is a bit further for her to walk to school. Right? Now, he's making out in that interview, that first interview they did, that he dropped her off at the school, at the church car park. And the sign is said. If I had a guess, get out of there. If I had a guess, you probably went that way. Yeah. But. Ow. Because also, he probably, he dumped her off here or he dumped her off? He, he dropped her off back okay. there. Okay. As she walked this way, coming down. So her sounds probably. Okay, good. so yeah, it yeah. is. Whether it's a combination or whatever it is, it's definitely the church. Well, the dog isn't picking up anything because she wasn't there. She was not there. We know that now. Right at the time, they didn't know that. Before she left the house. They probably have tracking on her phone, right? Yeah. Yeah, she probably knows it. They would have tracking on the phone if she had her phone with her. She's just not. She's not to go on her. Yeah. But as we all know, he dumped that in the big bin. Yeah. With, along with her lap, no, not her phone, her laptop and bag was dumped in one of those big. It's just Take two cops, one of them, is dog. they're just trying to pick up scent. There's the end of that one. And then there's another, another uh, clip with a dog. It's not quite as long, but well, it was a dog, but maybe it's not. Don't you bad, Twenty one oh five. By their apartments, possibly. You know what I mean, man, by where they live. I think that's outside of the, that's outside the apartment or yeah. townhouses, whatever it was. They're on the same track here, Ducky. They lived in. I mean, they literally send you no information. Bam. Here's your footage. Now you go figure it all out. Mm-hmm. Even though you pay all that money for it, yeah. Right, man. Yeah. The suspect also had a brown purse. Wish we could answer that, Samantha. The plane hung up. There's no further information.
I definitely think she knew something. Perhaps it was just an uh, intuition she had, a feeling. She knew something. I want to put a bet on who thinks they'll turn up when it does go to court for trial. Who thinks they'll turn up for the trial? I don't think he will. He'll do it, he'll do it at Adam Montgomery and not show up to the trial at all. Because he's going down for life anyway on those 60 charges, the first 60 Say it again? charges. So, no. He's never going to see the day, no. a day again. Now that's Stefan in the background. That's that's Stefan. That's Just Stephen. in case you missed it. Rachel Stark. Right, as soon as I want to highlight your comment again, it moved. Um, that's in the last live that we did well it's everywhere on youtube now but we'll have to check yeah, that one out yeah here. they she said she didn't believe that there was anything going on she just couldn't believe that i'd have to get and that one and check that one out they showed her a picture one of the pictures found on his i believe it was on the google cloud of his junk and i don't even like talking about this shit so i do apologize but there is a distinctive mark on it and that distinctive mark on it is i guess clearly visible in the photo of it, of it and her and she says she doesn't recognize it meaning his junk that's all and i'm going to leave it there i, I i'm just way too un i don't like talking about that shit. No.
どうも。Go ahead. Oh, my internet tonight, playing. Twenty-six number. Sorry about my internet tonight. This one's going to be a bit longer, this、uh, live, because I do want to go through all this video with you. There's not much to talk about here because we're not seeing a lot, we're not hearing a lot. So, no, no camera says right. Right、yeah, I'm trying to see if we can find something. These clips aren't very long either. They're very short. They might, they might look long, but they're not. They're very short, and they pay a lot of money for this. So shout out to the company again. Go over and subscribe, Jockey. Get some really good information. So go over. Why? Okay, so that's the end of that one. As I said, they're not long. I want to say welcome to the fam: Red Wolf, Piper Daisy, Michelle Eaton, Cynthia Sweezy, and Marlena Cantu. I've been searching your names in, on Streamyard, and I can't find it, but you're right there on my phone. I'm trying. To find your name to highlight you, but I found a 
couple of you. And thank you so much for the super sticker hotspot. Thank you so much for that. Um, now this next clip is at the church and it's interesting it's interesting well this is after the at the church now Alrighty, thank you. Guys. Redacted because they're watching yeah, a video on the uh, on their cameras. So it's been redacted. I'll get that for you, Texas. Yeah, thank you. Um I'm just gonna put the school, um, the church as the place that she was. My internet. Is it my internet or what it is? I don't it's know. Fine. Because mine seems to be okay at the moment. Okay. Seeing, um, detectives might be out here. Come talk to you guys. Um, just. Um, you might see a private number or it's my internet playing up but we got nice weather so i don't know why my internet's playing up so that's probably one of them trying to contact you guys through okay. the business line all right mm -hmm. all right thank you very, thank very much, much. Thank you so much. All right. I see you again. I hope I see you guys, but on better circumstances. Yeah. <laughs> So now this is, this is her cousin, I think. You guys correct me if I'm wrong. Her sister. Her sister. It's possible that she came here and this sat her sister. in the uh, parking lot for a while. Um, it's blurry video um but it looks like a Alice child sitting right there and she's hitting the people here said that they were adamant they seen her on the property um but like i said it's a blurry video and i don't see her getting into anybody's car in the video I see her sitting on property for give or take 10 minutes and then locking off property. You know, sorry, say um, I don't know which way she went from there around, like, I'll say, you know, sorry, say we could see her walking and sitting on, sitting on the, uh, sitting sitting down on the property. How can you say that? He's telling her that, right? Because I don't know. It's too grainy. He said that himself. It's too grainy to say whether it's there or not. Right? So that's what she then tells the mother, or the police then tell the mother and the foil piece of shit she's living with. 
you know what I mean? But, you know, really blurry and like there's no possible way. I, I can you can ask them to see it could allow you to see the video i can't really grab that for you um and just have them see if they have them so what do you all think about that so uh, according to this cop they actually have footage of her sitting or a kid sitting there yeah that's what i was just but the picture is so bad They're just not confident on who it is. It could be any child, couldn't it? Like I said, it's a blurry video, and I don't see her getting into anybody's car in the video. I see her sitting on property for give or, give or take 10 minutes and then walking off property. Um, I don't know which way she went from there. Around, like, I'll say... Is there any way I can see It's really blurry. It's like, there's no... Possibly. I can you can ask them to see if they could allow you to see the video. I can't really grab that for you. Um and just but, have them see if Yeah, Jen's sister, I'm sorry. <laughs> Not her. They have them, but yeah, I had her sitting there and then she walked right off the property. Um I'm trying to see I'm gonna send that to my detectives, see what they can do with that and get more video. No. Yeah. Um so yeah, I told your cousins earlier that over there in the other property I have um, cameras, so. Yeah, I said cousin and I meant sister. And it's because I, I did watch about three quarters of this video and I still had cousins stuck in my head. So mm -hmm. it's, yeah, it's her sister. Yeah, look, yeah, Urbana. So, um, I would, we're going to try to contact them and see if we can get those videos as well. Um, but other than that, yeah, I've been asking your cousin to see if they knew any spots. Do you know any spots that she probably hang out at? That she doesn't want to tell her mom or dad? Well, the address that I gave you, she never goes there. Yeah. And if she did, they would have said something. Right away, but now she, I don't think she would have gone there. I have, I don't know if she knows anyone around here. I only know that one friend that we told you about. Mm -hmm. She comes to my house all the time, and then yesterday we met a new one. I don't think she's ever really also been here. Yeah, she, that's the only two people I've ever met. She's been here. Okay, yeah, I have no idea. We checked her phone, I didn't see any like crazy stuff, but yeah, I didn't see her trying to like. Plan anything with anyone, and I just think that's what she's the type of just to walk off and leave. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't see her doing that at all. Yeah, yeah, I know. Like around this time, it's usually like you know they have like school events or something like that. So that's what I'd probably say. She probably told you guys something, and I don't know. We, yeah. um, the school. She never showed up to school today. Yeah. At all. I don't know what she could have gone to. Yeah. Okay. All righty. Well, I'm going to try to see if I could see if there's any more cameras in the area, see if I can pick up anything else. Uh, uh, can you get them to yeah. Once once we get any news or anything like that, the detectives more than like to contact her or I would contact her and say, hey, you know, um, that's if we find her um, tonight, I will contact her more than likely. If not, a detective will contact her first thing. Okay. Um, any questions for me? No, no, it wasn't my doing. No? All right, no problem. All right. You too. Don't forget this. This all happened before. before we okay, find so <clears throat> I need to remove a couple of these. Well, allegedly. Files. Until. You can only put so many of them up. He's innocent until proven guilty. So, and station. I don't know who or what it is they have redacted. 
this is inside the church so to be honest with you we can probably skip that because that's inside the church a uh, summary report Seconds of this clip until they show well, it the best down. Part. And the best part. Who knows what time it is, but it says it's 5 46 in the morning. Yeah. But they're headed to Jen's townhouse. I don't know what time it is. The, the body camera is wrong. And here it is. This is all you're going to see for a 45 minute clip. This is all you get. Best part. This is the best part. This is all we get. Hang on. I just want to verify the clothing. What? Bam. (laughs) That's it. And that's the longest clip. It's 45 minutes long. Okay. And that's all we get. And you heard him say, why is he there? Careful. Hang on. Uh, I just want to verify the clothing. Oh, okay. What? Just want to verify the clothing. Just want to verify the clothing. And the rest of that 45 minute clip is black. No audio, no video. Completely redacted. It wouldn't be so bad if you had audio, but you got nothing. If it even is a video, I don't know. Or an interview, I mean. But for those who are arriving late, they said, uh, it looked like five or six, five or six kids at the park. All right, give me a second, bro. And uh, pop. This uh, do they speak English? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. This is mom. This is mom. Okay. Okay. Now, watch his body language. His body. Watch hey everyone yeah. around What's you. What's going on? So, my daughter was dropped off close to school this morning, but never made right. it. I went to yeah, the school. I'm sorry, one second. Yeah. Go ahead, sir. <laughs> are we well, looking now, for another kid or we have it? If it wasn't for the fact that there's other people in the room sitting there with the arms folded i would say that's his barrier like this is my space you can't get past it yeah because you see a lot of teachers do that and i remember once i my son had a teacher and she did that as soon as i well, walked up to her she had her arms folded just so to say this is my space you can't get past it Oh, I got past it. I got past that space. Right? But just watch him. But so ignore the arms being folded. But just watch how he stands in that room and everyone else around him and what they are doing. Watch what they do. Looking for another one. And how sad is that right there? How sad is that right there? Just, I don't even, I don't know if you all caught it, but listen to the radio traffic. Are we looking for another kid? Yeah. I said that earlier, there's two of them. Looking for another one. 
So there's another kid missing at the exact same time this one is, hmm. or the exact same time that one was. That's sad. How sad is that? I'm trying to get that right now. Okay. So she was supposed to be dropped off at school, didn't make it to school. She didn't make it to school. I went to pick her up from school today, okay. and she never came out. They, they announced it over the speaker, and I'm just like, maybe she walked here, because sometimes she'll walk here to this office. Mm -hmm. I came here, nothing. I went back to the school. They were closed. You okay, come. I got a notice, just, an email you know, from you know, the school you know, accident, you know. but I also messaged her teacher, and he looked at her entire attendance today and saw that she was completely not at school today either. Okay. Um, so she never made it. Okay. What's her Name Madeline M A D E L I N E M A D E L I N E last name Soto S O T O S O T O yeah. date of birth February 22nd 2011 February 27th 2011 2011 Madeline Soto, age 13. I'm trying to get the clothing description out. What was she last seen wearing? Green hoodie. Um, Green hoodie. White Crocs. White Crocs. Either blue or black pants. I think black shorts. Black shorts? Yeah. Black shorts? Okay. Black shorts. All right. Do you know she has like friends in the area? She does, but she doesn't know where they live. She doesn't know where she lives. Okay. I asked all of them. Um, okay. <laughs> Is this like, did she like black port, black pants or shorts? Now between one of the two, you would think one of them would be a solid on that, right? One of them would be able to nail that down. Have any places that you guys know that she'll be usually be at? Any friends' house, any places that like you guys to hang out? Not typically, no. Not typically? No. Okay. Um, just give me one second. Let me see if I get some. No problem. And what school she goes to? Hunters Creek Middle School. Hunters Creek Middle? All right, cool. One, two, five. Do you guys have, do you have a picture of her? Yeah, this is a bit a lot of this. Listen to what she says. I wasn't there. You say something about be a birthday, and she said, "Yeah, but I wasn't there." That's what I'm about to grab right now. Yeah. All right, cool. Thank you. Is this a good enough picture or do you need a whole yeah, body picture? Perfect. Okay, where's the photo? Right there. This one walked up. This one. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I saved it to my photos, so you can go to You saved it to your photos? Yeah, we can just go to your photos. Oh, everything that's always stuck in my throat is why did she not book the time off work as a holiday, whatever, to be at her daughter's 13th, 13th birthday is a milestone. 
because you're going into your teens. You're going into your teenagers. So why can't she book the time off work to go to that party? They're out right now. Hi, guys. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. So right now you just heard him say, you know, to the, his other guys, they don't even know what this child looks like yet. And it's, we know it's sometime after 7.42 in the evening. And she had been reported three hours earlier. Now, we know, looking back in hindsight, it doesn't matter. But we've got to do better at getting kids reported missing. We've got to do better from the school systems, contacting parents, saying, hey, where's your kid? We've got to do better. I know, Mark, not in the UK and England, my child wasn't in school that morning. I get a phone call. I get a phone call by half nine, quarter to ten. Yeah, it, it is, Marlena. It is the first thing you do, but it shouldn't be three hours later. It shouldn't be three hours later. But we know from the 911 calls they had something else going on, and this wasn't a priority. This wasn't priority. The one 911 operator, in my opinion, frankly, was flat out rude and basically said, Listen, we'll get somebody there when we can. We got other stuff going on right now. It's more important. I think that was with Grandma. Yeah, she she's a rocker. She is a rocker. For those just stopping in, that's happened. Oh, what was that? Um, I have showed up. I'll play. Yeah. I'll play the footage of of them in the shop, the other part, and then we'll wrap this up for those just stopping in. Oh, they they called since I don't know when, but right there's the proof of what time the actual time is don't pay any attention to the body cam body camera time but they're going into this insurance tax place that i guess somebody owns. even there's trying to sell his story to them Okay. How about does she have like Apple Watch? Yeah. 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 Possibly, I don't know. She got dropped off to like, I um, she's in Baylor's finest car. So she didn't want to be dropped off at school, she wanted to be dropped off like half a block away so she can walk. But um, he dropped her off half a block away and drove away. Did she ever go to school? No, we called school. She was walking in that direction, she was rifling through her. Backpack, just looking for something. I thought maybe she was just looking for headphones before she started walking on. Yeah. Um, but she was just kind of, you know, shambling over in that direction. It looked the same as any other morning. Okay. Um, what was last thing else? If she had went to school, maybe. Um, so, so I got confirmation from the school that she never made it. They sent me an email saying she didn't she didn't make it. But I also spoke <laughs> to her or emailed one of her teachers directly. And he looked at all her attendance for all her years. Go ahead. And told me she, she didn't make it at all today. Okay. Um, no, she was, she was, she was supposed to have a book bag. She was supposed to go to school, but didn't go to school today. Good. Okay. 
He wasn't her dad, and he wasn't her stepdad. He was a piece of evil, vile shit. Who only hooked on to the mother because of her daughter. Say it again. Um, I'm trying to figure out uh, secondary spots, but so far, negative on anything. Um, yeah, you could be 51 of me. All right, cool. Very cool. All right, cool. Yes, yeah, that's negative on that hit. I do a part. So. No. No. How wild is that? How old is that, Michelle? What? Wait a minute. This is where she gets uncomfortable when she figures out. Actually, that that hang on. That's the wrong Michelle. Or she just the never got by me so quick. I, it was. I am so sorry. Sorry, <coughs> Carolina. Yeah, Jennifer did not even make a nine one one call. No, she didn't. She didn't make no. It was a a a her it was, it was her grandma and. There were there were two calls made, mm. but n they have no record of Jennifer calling nine one one. That's wild. I think black shorts. I think black shorts. Yeah. Okay. Go for their information. And was the last time you seen her? Do you know the what run? Yes, that negative on that hit at the park. So. I think black shorts. Even though she said she's still getting ready for school. They're still not 100% sure on the pants or the shorts and the collar of the, of the shorts or the pants. No, they're not. And now he adds socks with the Crocs, yeah. white socks with the Crocs. Thank you, And when was the last time you seen her? Do you know the what, what time? Around 8 30, 8 40 when, when we dropped her off. Watch Have he looks at that cop there. He's when watching we that cop. Dropped her off. But then he focuses on this one which over here, which we can't don't read. Too much into that because they don't see Jennifer in the vehicle, so don't read too much into that. Uh, weight 110 pounds, about 110, 110. Um, hair color 100. She says 110, he says 110, 112. <laughs> I mean, she's still very calm, I think. The mother, I've been. Beats if it was my daughter. My eyes would be red and swollen from crying. You know what I mean? I wouldn't be able to stand there and talk coherently. They'd have to sedate me. Because I'd be so, so upset. You know what I mean? But she's so calm. Yes, yeah, she's swaying back and forth. That might be a, a comforter for her because you know, you see her shaking a lot in that first interview she did with the uh, news people. She's shaking and her legs going. Now, there's something about the leg, right? And this was something I learned years and years and years ago. If you're in a position where you're not feeling comfortable, right? Your leg shakes. You don't realise it's shaking, but your leg will shake. Like, I don't know, like, when you go to the dentist, you don't want to be there, do you? <laughs> so your legs shake. Like, when I had to go to the hospital two years ago, my first time at the hospital, my leg was shaking constantly because I didn't want to be there. Right? I didn't want to be there. And so if ever I'm in a position where I don't want to be somewhere, my legs will shake. Either one or both will go. Why? 
So when she was in that interview, the what I got from that first interview she did with the news people was she didn't want to be this. She was she didn't know what she wanted to be honest with you because she wasn't sure what she should get, what she could say or should say. Now, as I said, I think that was a bit of A, what the law enforcement had told him not to say, and B, what he'd told her, don't say this and don't say that. So she's getting all this information coming in and not knowing what to do with it. So, yes, she was shaking because she didn't know, she didn't want to be there. What's and it? her rocking is just off the, it is He's just standing the there, and everyone else around him is moving around. He's just jumping out in that area. Look how he's watching that copper, though. Look, he's watching that copper, see? And now he's going to focus on this one over here. Does she have any markings on her, like any scars or anything like that? There's a distinctive beauty mark on her face here. On her face. On the face, like below. Yeah, my, my shack job knows more about my daughter than I do. He knows where all of her markings are, sir. Yeah. So don't Thank don't you, my, okay, don't you, worry you, about you, me. Let my shack job yep. answer all of your questions about anything about my daughter's body. He knows it better than I do. So the nose, or the nose. Yeah, yeah, like right in that area there. It's it's very distinctive. You'd know it if you saw it. Big. Any other scars on you? Like that, which you know, no. tattoos, tattoos. Tattoos. Yeah. No. Yeah. 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 Did you put out the description? I yeah. put the top part out, I didn't get the rest of the stuff. Yeah. 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 I don't know if you've seen it. I can always go back to it. But you know when she's looking for her phone for the picture? And she gives her phone to that police officer. He's literally looking over to see what he's doing on her phone. You know what I mean? He's looking over. I'll go back to that and be. Um, Watch this now. Watch this. Hello? See, Abby's looking at her. Yes? Watch. Watch. Hi, Principal. I'm okay. How are you? Watch. Keep watching. Whoa. That was intense. Yeah. Keep watching. That was intense. She says, I'm getting a random 407 number. And it's I want you to watch Stern's reaction. Yeah. Watch his reaction when he hears her say, hello, principal, whatever the principal's name is. Watch his reaction. I'm getting a random 407 number. Um, okay. Hello? Yes? Watch his face again. Hi, Principal. I'm okay. How are you? Carry on watching. What would you call that? Keep going. You get the, bit, the best part. Is that a reaction of... Whew, well, I just dodged a bullet. Or is that a reaction of... Yes? Hi, Principal. I'm okay. How are you? There. <laughs> there. Right. I'm going to go back myself. 
What would you call that? Is that a reaction of, whew, well, I just dodged a bullet. You got to see the rest of it. Or is that a reaction of, Yes? Hi, Principal. I'm okay. How are you? See that big exile. Breathing. Breathing. Whoop. Uh, no. <laughs> he even lets out a big exhale. Yep. Dude holding his breath. Dude is holding his breath. Yep. Wow. Wow. Yeah, exactly. He's like, oh, thank God, it's just the principal. I played it all the way, and I completely missed I called it. it all. the first time. Hello. Yes. Cool. Oh, that was like he's talking to, and then okay. Principal, I'm okay. How are you? I'm okay. I'm not okay. I'm the mother. My daughter's gone missing. Uh, no, 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 no. I'm okay. How are you? What the hell? Does she have any social media or anything like that? Oh, I'm going back a bit. Principal, I'm okay. How are you? Hi, Principal. I'm okay. How are you? What? If if the principal had phoned me from the school and said to do like to find out what's going on with my daughter, I'd be going. My daughter is missing. How do you think I feel? Oh, I'm very calm. But my daughter is missing. I want my daughter home. Oh, I'm okay. How are you? Uh, yeah, he's big no. <laughs> he, even, <laughs> he even lets out a big exhale. Dude holding his breath. Dude is holding his breath. Wow. Wow. Yeah, exactly. He's like, oh, thank God, it's just the principal. And believe me. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Lord. It's just the principal. Order. I didn't even catch the, the breath until I played it all the way. And I completely missed it this the first time. Hello? Yes? Hi, principal. I'm okay. How are you? Yeah. Uh, no, yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to see if I can find the paperwork. We haven't got his body cam. Uh, one with the no pad in his hand. We haven't got his body cam. Thank you so much. I'm definitely All right. Yeah. All right. Oh my gosh, Hollis. Thank you, Hollis. So much. No, that's that's not a So much in that one little clip thing with the phone call. Well, I'm not being sure whether they're wearing black shorts or what. The phone call. This, 
the exile. And then, hi, Principal. I'm okay. Thank you so much for the memberships, Hollis. You're awesome. And let me say, welcome. Answering her phone. My problem is her being okay with them sleeping together. That's, and my problem is why, why do I, why are we sitting here watching officers go back to their house to get clothing, clothes verification? Why are you not out? beating the brush mm. neither one of them why did you lie about seeing her that morning when you in fact we now know you didn't see her that morning that is a 1000% fact you did not see that child that morning we know this well, we know she didn't see her, but not only that, Stephen said it himself. They left the house between 7.30 and 7.45. Yeah? She told, told law enforcement in an interview that she saw her getting ready for school at 8 a.m. So, who's lying? Stephen? Or the mum. Uh, both. Well, I wouldn't say Stefan's lying he left at half seven, seven foot five. He probably did. But the mother is definitely lying. Because if Stefan left the house at quarter to eight, no way could she have seen her daughter at eight o'clock getting ready for school. Plus, we already know she was dead by then. Because, as I was saying, the only way he could have got her out of that house without anyone seeing was before sunrise. Because of where their front door is and where they park their cars, I guess, you have to come out the front door, round the path, down to the car park, to the car park area. It's not as if you can come out your front door straight into your car. They have to walk a little bit. So the mother must have seen him. Must have known. Come on. Wow. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. She is a beast. Yeah, but, well, I mean, I honestly didn't know that until, you know, recently. But that needs to change, Tanika. Yeah, that does need to change. The school needs to rise at the end of the day. That needs to change. I know in the UK, well, when my kids were at school, because I had an incident with my daughter, um, she had to go to the doctors. So my husband took her to the doctors for nine o'clock. Right? And I walked up the road with my son. Saw my son into school and then went round to the office door. The, the door is where you go in for the office. And as I'm going in, I saw her teacher. And I went, oh, glad I've caught you. Um, besides me going to the office, just to let you know, my daughter won't be in school until about 10, 10 30. I said, because she's got a doctor's appointment. And she said, okay, I'll put that in the registry, in the registrar, in the, in the registrar. Because every morning they call their names, tick them off. Then those are handed in to the reception. And they all get there for about what? That while well, they're going to assembly at about quarter past twenty past nine. So they're all handed in by half nine. Well I'm uh, well at the time I didn't have a um, a lang phone. 
Barrow. Because we'd only recently just moved in. We hadn't been in there that long. And to be honest with you, I didn't want a land firm because I was having problems with my mother-in-law. Right? And I knew if I had a phone, she'd only phone me and do my heading. So I said, no, we're not having no phones. But then I went out and brought a mobile. <laughs> I told my husband, do not give your mother this mobile number. Oh, he did. He did. Anyway. So my contact was my mum and dad. So I'm cleaning. And it was about, what, half nine? Yeah, about half nine-ish. No, about 20 to 10, quarter to 10. Because my mum had a phone call after school about half nine. And she just come in and said, where's your daughter? Where's, where's your daughter? And I automatically, because I'm busy cleaning my table, polishing and whatever, right? I went, at school. And she went, at school? I went, yeah. She said, no, she's not sick. The phone's just fo the school's just phoned me. I went, oh, she's going home. I said, she's at the doctor's, sorry. I said, what do you mean they just phoned you? She said, the phone was about half nine, telling us Dingy's wasn't in school. That's why we come round. I, I told her teacher she would not be in school, and the teacher said she'd mark it in the register. So I, I knew then, as soon as my child wasn't in school, we'd get notified at least by half nine, quarter to ten. And my mum and dad literally jumped in the car and drove round. I was like five minutes away in a car. Five minutes in a car away from my mum. Right. So they literally jumped in the car over to mine. And senior school, uh, secondary school as we call it. Right. If my if my kids wasn't in school, like sometimes my daughter wouldn't get in because her asthma would be really bad or she'd had a bad night the night before and hadn't had much sleep. So I kept her off to recuperate from her asthma. And uh, I'd get phone calls. Why is your daughter not in school? Because I haven't had a chance to phone you yet to tell you that she won't be in school. Because they used to phone at like 10 past nine. <laughs> 10 past nine, they'd be on the phone to you by 10 past, quarter past nine. And I just hadn't literally stopped from the moment my son had gone to school, left to go to school with his friends. Um, trying to sort out um, doctor's appointments for my daughter. I'm, I'm trying to keep her calm because if she got anxious or anything, like, her asthma would play up. I was trying to keep the dust level down, so I wasn't polishing. I was using, like, a damp cloth to keep the dust down, right? Because if you use them dusters, you're just knocking the dust up in the air. So I always use, it like, a... A cloth, a microfiber cloth or something, which was slightly damp, that would take the dust off, and then go over and polish. But I couldn't polish because my daughter, asthma was playing up. And anything like that, I could set her off. So I knew by quarter past nine at the secondary school, if I wasn't in school, I'd get that phone call. So it should be like that here. Not at the end of the day. I mean, parents not knowing the schools, not showing up for school. Parents not knowing their kids what, haven't been at school all day and then notifying them at the end of the school day. That needs to be, that needs to change and change with the quickness. Yeah. If you're if you're if a kid doesn't show up for class within an hour, <laughs> parents should be notified. In my opinion, in my opinion, uh, you know, if I'm now, again, none of that would have saved Madeline. I totally yeah. get it. She was already gone. She was already gone. So she was already gone. But but we weren't to know that. You know, instead of being reactive to everything, let's be pro. We need to start being proactive with stuff. Why don't they tell them? I can't stand that. Why do they wait? Always, the end of the day? we're such 
a reactive So I do I think they do a registry as well like, after lunch. So if my son will do uh, it after Mr. lunch, I just got a phone. We started off a little rough. We started off a little rough because I took the body cam clock and time date everything for face value. And again, my apologies for that. <laughs> um but we eventually got to got got to train back on the track. But please everyone go over to the docket. Subscribe. He does some great work. He really does. No, it's not. It's not illegal. Every body camera footage you ever see in trial, they've had. They have to make adjustments to it. It's not illegal or inadmissible because of it. No, but we might see it in court. We might see it in court. Because it won't be redacted in court. A lot of that evidence, that video cam, will not be redacted in court. They've redacted it because they don't want the public knowing it. That's why. So in court, it will be shown. But I want to know why that other police officer, his, cam, his body cam, wasn't released. As I said, it's one of three things. That second police officer either didn't have his buggy camera, camera on. They're keeping it for evidence. Or three. And if it is this one, I think it's disgusting. Or three, they just forgot to put it in with this bundle. Our videos. As I said, they paid a lot of money for these for this. The docket has and whoever has paid for it, they paid a lot of money. So they should get all the footage. Unless there's a reason behind not getting that footage. Like there's evidence. Everything said and heard on his camera was evidence because he was the one. But then again, we had his camera on when he was talking to the mother. You know what I mean? So why can we have his his camera when he was talking to the mother and the step and the shit face viral piece of dirt? You know what I mean? It doesn't make sense why his camera it would not be in there um, unless he didn't have it on. That's the only thing I can come up with. Anyway. Thank you to everyone joining me on X. Um, there was something else I wanted to show you, but I can't find it. So I have gone into three and a half hours now. So and I've got to take my medication. And so I'm going to call it a night here. I will check up on all this information. I want to go through that audio again. And some, some of that body camera again. Because there's bits of that I didn't catch. And I think I need my headphones on or earpieces in. Because it's not very loud. So you can't always hear what they're saying. But when you've got headphones on. So you can hear all that. You hear all that a lot better. So that's what I'm going to have to do. So I'll be back tomorrow night. And um, let's put this picture up. I'll be back tomorrow night and I'll be on my nightly Monday routine of Sebastian. Sebastian Wayne Drake Rogers. Where is he? Okay. I don't want any negativity. I just want all positivity around that child because he needs to be brought home. So and I don't want any negativity about his father. Because if I was his father, I'd be going to the law enforcement, either clear me or arrest me. You know what I mean? Because he hasn't been cleared, yet they've got proof of where he was. 
he works at a corrections facility. At a corrections facility, they've got cameras on every door, every corridor, you name it. You probably can't even take a pee without being on camera. Right? Because they have criminals there, villains, bad guys, and women. So, clean me or arrest me. That's what I'd be saying to law enforcement. Simple as. Anyway, I'm going to leave you tonight. As I said, tomorrow night is Sebastian Rogers, and I will be back then. And I'm just trying to find a nice song to go out with for this young girl. I'll just play my usual. This one. And there it is. Come on. Okay, you're not going to that. Thank you again for everyone being here. Thank you for those on X. Leave me a comment. Leave me a heart. Those on YouTube. Leave a like. Share. If you really like what you hear and see, please subscribe. It's all free. So thank you for being here. Let's see you all again soon. Thank you.